holes in my shoes. I stick my tongue in the holes in my teeth. I stick expletives in the holes in my thought process when I speak. My friends stick to their guns. They got a bunch in the woods of Vermont till the end times come. But Saturn says he's gonna learn to live as if the world. gonna do my best to drink coffee in the morning and live as if I didn't feel lonely and hopeless and helpless to save myself for the world where I live and tonight when I dream it will be that the junkies spent all the drug money on community gardens and collective housing and the punk kids who moved in the Potholes collecting garbage to prove we don't need governance to do these things. And I'll wake up burning Times Square as we sing. Throw your hands in the air, property is robbery.
swear that someday I'll tell you without lying I was born to quit smoking I was born to quit dying On that day, not doing heroin Will be easy as pissing On that day, I'll stop talking so much shit about the government Cause urine speaks louder than words On a politician or on a prison warden Urine speaks louder than words What's up? Hold on. All right, I'm here. Oh. Oh. Still. Mm. Fantasy World. That sounds like a good name. <clears throat> oh. <coughs> So we could do some more curls right now. What's up, Peaky? Uh, what's we doing? Like I said in Discord earlier, we're gonna do a little politics, but then we're gonna switch over to the cat game. Um, <laughs> I want to get it done, frankly, and then we're gonna do some zomboid later. Oh, I can't wait to fuck with Wordy. Ah, oh, shit! I still have shoes on. Oh, fuck me. I tweaked my left shoulder yesterday. Oh. Shoes. Yes, I have two colored shoelaces. And bright red insoles. Oh. And let's see. Yeah, socks. Um, right sock, cool mesh. Oh. They actually have two layers. They, uh, it's difficult to show, but like my sock has two layers. It's this layer and then this layer. So it one moves with your foot and the other moves with your shoe so you don't get hot spots. If you're one of those people that have that issue, if you have like friction issues, right sock, cool mesh too. I've been wearing them for years now. They fucking work. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so we'll be doing the cat game. Like I said, I want to bang it out. Uh, apparently, like, it's super depressing or some shit, but the mechanics never change. Uh, from, what I've from what I understand is that Stray, uh, basically, you, you learn the mechanics in that first area, and that's it. It's a fucking race to the finish. Um, there's, there's no other mechanic to the game. There's no, uh, somebody described it as FF7 levels of being on rails. Ah, 
And I'm starting to feel that. I get that. Like last, uh, no. Uh, last, last night, by the end of it, I was really kind of like, you know, I was starting to push forward. I was starting to push forward. It was rough. Like I couldn't get into the RP anymore as the cat because I'm like, that's the, everything that you can do as a cat. You it's done by that moment. Uh, either way. Uh, so labor over in the UK has sacked their shadow transport minister for the, for, for, for those of us that don't live in fucking fuck Britain Stan. They call things shadow. It means deputy or backup, right? Like, so when you hear like the, 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 the shadow minister in, in UK, like Brit politics, like the, the, the fucking, uh, the, tra uh, the shadow transport minister, that's the deputy. That's the backup. Like, like we would say, oh, he's shadowing him today. That's what that means. So the shadow minister, uh, the shadow transport minister for labor supported the um, <clears throat> striker, uh, the, the, the striking transport and rail workers in the UK, which you would expect from the labor party. The current labor leader, a guy by the name of Sir Keir Starmer, because when I think of labor leaders, I think of people with knighthoods. The current late, uh, late, uh, labor leader in, uh, in, in the UK is Sir Keir Starmer. Keir sacked the shadow transport minister uh, who joined the striking rail workers on the picket line. Labor in the UK is now firing people because they support striking workers. So if you're wondering exactly where the the line is, <laughs> probably peaced. Probably. Um, hey, got. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. While we're talking about um, class traders. Welcome to Michigan, 1930, 1936. This is a, a what used to be called a penny auction. They, I suppose we still do call them penny auctions, don't we? Um, this was a foreclosed Michigan farm back in 1936. Um, <clears throat> penny auctions would allow people to offer really, really low bids. Uh, resu resulting in a low creditor, uh, low return for the creditor. So just in case anybody uh, ever got any ideas when a farmer's property was foreclosed upon and the bank tried to sell it off, the locals would gather and buy it for literally a couple of pennies because no one would dare run up the price. And if you're wondering why, no one, outsiders, fellow financiers, rentier class, rich people in the area. If you're wondering why no one would, um, <clears throat> well, outbid the um, local farmers, um, can't imagine why. They made it very clear what would happen if you fuck this up. They made it very, very clear. What would happen if you fucked this up? <clears throat> God, I can't figure it out. I know, right? <sighs> uh, he held a rose. That was a photo from 1936 penny auction of a Michigan farm that was foreclosed upon during the Depression era uh, by a bank. Penny auctions were class solidarity events in which the uh, local populace would bid mere pennies uh, for the property that was put up for a foreclosure auction by the bank, uh, by the creditors. Um, and they would then return it to whoever it was foreclosed upon, signing the property over to them free and clear at that point. The... Um, <clears throat> um, 
the demonstration, shall we say, the 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 um, signage that was hung was merely a um, a notice to anyone who would attempt to uh, outbid the local populace who was attempting to regain one of their own community members' plot of land. <clears throat> Just a visual reminder. Yes, just a visual reminder of fuck this up and, well, find out. <laughs> and it depends what we're trying to solve, but it's certainly not. It's certainly a, an answer. Not always the only answer. There's other answers sometimes, but it's certainly an answer. Um, either way, yes, it was a little blast from the past, of, uh, from the history books. Just thought you might enjoy. Uh, FYI, um, <clears throat> if you like Crocs, uh, Antiwork fucking has a post by somebody who's involved in the Crocs business. Our husband was fired from the Crocs distribution center in Dayton. Goes on, uh, trans um, husband reported a coworker for multiple transphobic, misogynistic, racist, and homophobic comments and threats um, across the board. We got towel heads. We got uh, we got t fucking sexually harassing. We got across the board. Uh, it's just across the board. Like it's just a wonderful example of a human being. Um, they fired the dude who reported him. <clears throat> um, there's an EEOC complaint in, but at the end of the day, just FYI, if you aren't a fan of companies that protect bigoted pieces of garbage, just saying, maybe a way to go on that one. Gee, I can't imagine why the white trash shoe company would be white trash. Oh, Aspen. Um, Aspen. I'm playing Stray later, and then I'm playing Zomboid after that. Word, I told Wordy we have a surprise for them. And Wordy is intrigued and excited for their surprise, Aspen. Can we watch an Andrew Tate video? No. I don't, I don't need to see a human trafficker at work. I've, I've met, I've been uh, in a courtroom even, uh, my stepfather's courtroom, when such a person was dealt with as well. I've, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't need to see some guy who ran halfway across the world's video, uh, fucking, a, <clears throat> so he could more easily get away with human trafficking, um, and then find out that um, he, um, even there, couldn't get away with human trafficking. Yeah, Andrew Tate's a piece of human garbage, and we don't need to be watching any of his videos. Oh, saying white trash is majorly outrageous. Can I say black trash? How about Mexican trash? How about human garbage? Are you okay with any or all or none? <clears throat> anyway, as somebody who Shut the fuck up. It's racist and take it back. Okay, one, no. No. That's not happening. <laughs> like that, that for sure, that's not happening. This isn't, this isn't fucking fourth grade. I'm not taking back my words. Like that, that's just not a current, a, a thing that's going to occur. Sorry, sweetheart. That, welcome to it, Pookie. Um, that's, that's not happening. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, 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 project reduction. Project reduction. Did you know? Okay, uh, is it Stanford or Harvard? I forget which one. It's Harvard, right? That does the um, unconscious biases tests. Um, 
<laughs> we ran through. Dig and I came out on the other side. Dude, I love, uh, just so you know, pre -pre a project reduction. Like I have like a st like scientifically valid result, right? For myself, I'm unconsciously biased against white people. For real. The same way that you probably would test unconsciously bias against African American or black people, I test that way against white people. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like them. I really don't. We're, we're responsible for most of the, the problems in the modern era. My entire life, white people have been driving this one. Ah, uh, beast. Fuck it. <laughs> you show me a white dude in a suit and tie, I'll show you somebody you got to keep your eye on. Straight up. You want, you want racial profiling? A white dude in a business suit. And if it's tailored, even better. If you can spot a tailored suit, good on you. You show me a white dude in a business suit that's been tailored to him. I'll show you somebody who can never be trusted. Yeah. I actually test out with an unconscious bias against white people. Why am I being racist? Uh, just call it um, profiling. Just call it pattern recognition. White people cause most of the problems. For most of the world. It's true. It is true. <clears throat> Bobby, you can't trust me. Uh, you can't trust me then, I guess. Uh, Bobby? No. No. Bobby. Bobby, why would we do that? Bobby, you work for a casino when you're a white dude in a suit. You're ticking boxes, Bobby. I love you to death, my man. But, I mean, you're like the poster boy for it. <laughs> at least you don't work in a bank. Hey, Puka. That's the only thing I can say. Bobby, you don't work in a bank. So, I mean, I trust you more because you work in the casino. You're like, hey, I want to grift you up front. Like, you're one of the honest ones, which we, we respect. Oh, God. Seriously? Wait, we've got... We've got... Take more shots up your ass. I mean, I got video of me taking, like, things up the ass. Is, is that what we're after? <clears throat> I trust Bobby as long as I'm not in his casino or a connected franchise. Uh, <laughs> Bobby, exactly. Um... Yeah, I think I think he I think he was going I think he was going anti-vax route, but I'm not entirely sure. He could just be going homophobia. It's difficult to tell with these types. Isn't it fun? It's so easy to mess with them too. Anyway. Uh Good too. Oh yeah, I just saw it. I just saw it. Do we have the nineteen seventy? Um, okay, so oh, so we don't have anything. Just fucking maybe Black Past has it. Okay, there we go. So two over at Jackson, four over at Kent State. Somebody posted old school, old school, cool, the Kent State fucking deaths. But I was like, there's, that's not the only one. Like Jackson was, uh, Jackson State fucking didn't have one either. Uh, uh, had one, had one as well. Here's the four kids that were killed by uh, National Guard uh, in, uh, in Kent State during the, the Vietnam protests. But what most people don't know is that there was two young gentlemen over at Jackson State because National Guard shot up the black college as well. But the only one you know about, of course, is Ohio, uh, is uh, Kent State. That's, that's the only one that most people are aware of. When the Ohio National Guard shot up uh, college students, it's like, you know, right down the street, they shot a bunch of black, uh, uh, bu a bunch of black kids too. That one didn't quite make the national news as much. Funny how that works. Uh, true, because of the song by Neil Young. Does it help that I actually, uh, I hate actually wearing suits? Yes, Bobby, it actually does help, yes. Legitimately, because I know dudes who f for sure, for sure wanted it. Uh, are we going to do it? Are we doing... Oh God! Are we doing the migrant caravan? Wait, 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 wait! Is somebody legitimately doing the uh, the migrant caravan? It ninety percent of the time I'm in slacks and polo. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> we can get you into real clothes, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot better than the suit, though. I'll tell you that, dude. I can't. I can't trust a white dude in a suit. I really can't. I really can't. That dude. You show me. You show me a dude walking down the a black dude walking down the street, fucking fully like crypt out, and you show me a fucking white dude with a fucking suit, suit and tie. I'll be like, oh, that guy's definitely the criminal. I wish I could, because he don't let me dress down on that. Oof, that sucks. <clears throat> Is my mom a white dude in a suit? Was she a hoe? Uh, no, no. I think my mom's had like three sexual partners in her life. Um, she's been married twice. Um, I think she had one dude in college, and then uh, my father and my stepfather. Um, yeah, she's been married twice. She's a lifelong nurse. Um, she was a candy striper before she was even in college when she was back in high school. She was one of those old school candy stripers with the pink and white fucking back in the day. Lifetime nurse. Uh, went back to school, got her MBA, started becoming a corporate reorganizer for hospitals. Totally lost her soul in that regard. Um, chased that for a while. Um, and then she got back into nursing. Yeah. Aww. Well, I think he's got to go, right? Like, we can't... This is just TOS. Like, I... I... Pretty sure? I don't know where the line on that one. Oh, I've always cared about TOS. Always, for sure. Oh. Pookie. Can't make this shit up. People people made up stories about space ninjas and talking trees and two-dimensional worlds. I'm pretty sure they can make this up, homie. You don't have much of an imagination, though, do you? Why don't you come on the air, Project? Why don't you come on the air? Come talk to me. I haven't even mentioned Donald Trump, you fucking whack job. Holy shit, and Jews do control our media. Hey, we got fucking... Hmm, interesting. The Discord link's not popping. wonder why. Yeah, interesting. Oh, Twitch chat's not being monitored. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold on. Uh, the fucking, uh, the bot token expired. Because fucking Twitch. Can I do this live? I think I can do this live. All right, log in. This is stupid. The bot, uh, the bot fucking, uh, all right. The bot's OAuth token expired. All right, where's the... Um, bam. All right, now let me... Open the token. Cool. Connect. Done. Okay, yes. Now let me go back over to the actual account. And that means I have to do some, for sure. Um, all right, two factor. There we go. Bam. All right, back to it, back to it. Anyway. There we go. Sorry about that. Ugh. Is what it is. Oh, no, they don't know anything. These people are always stupid as fuck. I mean, I mean, we know that. I don't know why I reiterate. But these people are always stupid as fuck. 
they have no under understanding education experience they they're always highly sheltered they they basically don't know anybody they're marginalized they're fucking shat upon by the system they're surrounded by class traders and i mean they themselves are usually class traders they be uh they uh they vote against and fight against their own self self interests uh, every day it's really one of the saddest things and when you in inevitably oh nice uh cricks i like i like the color scheme on those i like the blue pop i like the blue pop it's a good pop hey um hey, what's this fucking idiot's name project reduction hey project reduction you um you a loomy stalker? You one of those weirdos that stalks loomy? The whole anti self interest blows my mind, dude. Puka, there, if you if you if you can convince the lowest white man that he's superior to the highest black man, right? Like this is this is that territory. But it takes a level of stupidity and ignorance to be able to do that. So to be able to convince somebody to be a bigot to be a horrible human being they have to one not know anybody like how are you going to be bigoted against fucking black people when you know black people right it's like oh for fuck's sake you know my partner's black like how are you gonna really right you know oh fucking scary asian people oh did you get banned or just deleted no just deleted Crystal, 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 Crystal. Here, I'll help you. Crystal, Crystal, I'll help you. You ready, Crystal? Are you paying attention? I know you probably don't have the longest attention span. Crystal, E75, Crystal, underscore E75. Hey, Crystal, Crystal, I'm an anarchist. The fact that you vote for Mitch McConnell makes me laugh. Like, I literally laugh at you when you do that. I, I Crystal, you might as well hiss into the wind and have it spray in your own face to own the libs for all I give a shit. This is the funniest shit. You're like, hey, I'm going to vote for the guy who hates me and is against all of my self-interests. How does that make you feel? Do you feel triggered? Do you feel triggered? I think it's hilarious. I hope you suffer more as a result of it. If you want to vote for the guy who wants you to suffer, then I hope you get what you want. I don't give two shits about you. I Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here from Proudly Radical. Since I owe Kai a few favors from back in the old days. Uh, shit, I probably shouldn't talk about that. Wait, why are you still recording? Fine, fine. Just be sure to edit it out. Anyways, as I was saying, well, this is Alex Jones, and I just wanted to tell <laughs> proletariat a few things about anarchism. Anarchism isn't about chaos. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Anarchism is about the people. It's about solidarity and mutual aid. It's about removing unjust authority and hierarchies. We should all be anarchists. The world would be a better place. Now... I'm going to apologize again to all those parents whose lives I ruined because I'm such a douchebag. Jones, out. All right, guy, this has got to make us even for that uh, incident you helped me out with. <sighs> hey, this person doesn't even... This is hilarious. I'll go, oh, by the way, they said they vote. They uh, fuck it. What was the thing? I served in the army for thirteen years, bud. You should thank me and start standing up for the. <laughs> uh, and then they said that they'll gladly vote for John McCain, Mitt Romney, Donald Trump. Do you understand tensing, like past, present, future tense? Do you understand linguistic tensing? Because I, you clearly don't. I will gladly vote for. What year are you living in, Crystal? What year are you presently living in? 
what year do you think it is? Shell shock, probably. Little little PTSD from Iraq from committing war crimes against children. <laughs> Thanks, Puka. Oh. Thanks, Puka. Oh. <laughs> maybe they think they're still in Iraq. I mean, maybe. Crystal, where are you? Dude. <laughs> also, McCain and Romney were considered the biggest rhinos by Republican. Crystal just railing on rhinos, conflicted much. Ah. Bobby, you're looking for consistency within one of these people. These people don't, they don't understand anything. They're too dumb to have ideological self-consistency. You know that. I know that. But hey, you know, we might as well point it out when we see it, right? Um, for Crystal, ideological self-consistency are a series of multisyllabic big words, big words, um, that basically mean that your ideas go against each other. Anyway, I've arrived just in time since a resolution. I'll be eating my popcorn. I cannot form arguments today, <laughs> nor nor will a resolution be taking questions at this time. Um, resolution, you missed the one earlier. The one earlier was even wackier. I mean, maybe in its own way. I don't know. Irresolution, you know, some people bring their own panache to the game of being an idiot. You know how it goes. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, guy. Um, I will continue to vote for Trump, Pence, Pompeo to destroy the tankies like you. I gladly deployed under President Bush. T Crystal doesn't know what tanky means either. Crystal's using words that just, just, just words they heard or read. This is hilarious. Oh, uh, Project Reduction or whatever the fuck that dumbass's name is. What's up, Eddie? Ooh, that's my little tanky. Like ketchup and mint, says Book. <laughs> Uh, you you guys, you, um, oh yeah, project reduction for sure. You're a dumbass. Uh huh. Um, a resolution. Uh, a resolution. Um, this is the one. This is the other one that you need to keep an eye on. Um, that's gonna like give you some material possibly to work with. Either way, <laughs> they really are special. A special lot. Um, no, it actually isn't against TOS. By a long shot, dumbass. Um, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay. So OAN is pleading to liberals, um, to help save the network. I'm not shitting you. OAN, One America Network. Fucking Trump, 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 Trump. What's up, public? We're gonna be playing uh, the rest of Stray later, uh, and then some Zomboid. Uh, <laughs> public, and I guess the rest of you. Uh, love you too, public. Uh, OAN is literally pleading to liberals to come save them. It is hilarious right now. <laughs> After Verizon dropped their ass, and then basically the only way to find them is like on their website now, because nobody will carry them. Uh, quote, it's absolutely crucial that for once we defy the powers that be. We all come together and set aside our differences in a unified effort. How many times has OAN shat upon liberals specifically, right? How many times their entire existence is like triggering the libs and now they're like, save us daddy liberals. Oh, it's the same fucking story from these bootlicking supplicants time and time and time again. Do they complain? They yell, they, they kick their feet, but holy shit, when it comes time, Fucking, they will lick the boot of the liberals. They will gobble those balls. They'll just... <laughs> Commies. George Patron. Uh, I will continue... Hey, Crystal, I hope you do. Like I said, I, I wish the very worst for you. Um, I, I don't care. Uh, Crystal, I'm all for the balkanization of the U.S. I want us to, I want to hurry up and break us up. I'm sick of being in the same country as people like you and Projection, re Reflection, or whatever their fucking name is. I've already forgotten it. Honestly, they don't matter on any scale, right? Like, yeah, 
I'm ready for the West Coast and, the, and some of the Southwest states to just sort of like do their own thing. I'm waiting waiting for the Northeast corridor. I I'm done with these red state idiots. Honestly, y'all can go fucking have your dude. You're already bringing back polio and shit. Go fuck yourselves. Honestly, I don't need to be like put up the fucking put up the border gates and the checkpoints and let's search y'all motherfuckers when you inevitably come to get social services in these states. Yeah, I I I know it's General Patton, you clown. I'm the one who actually was aware of the typo, you clown. Jesus Christ. Learn to type. I will continue to vote for anti-abortion, anti-weed, pro-business candidates that are also anti-vax mandates. What? Anyway. Um Oh yeah. Figures non binary. Um non binary. I, I was talking about the your labor leader earlier, uh sh uh, uh sacking the uh shadow transport minister. Yeah, that's uh, because he went out and protested with them. That was a hell of a thing. <clears throat> um, <laughs> oh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they're fucked. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, I don't think you know what triggers means, Crystal. Oh, uh, you know what, uh, guys? I mean, if you're done playing with the idiot who's just a bad troll. Who's not even good at what they do? Um, sorry, hangnails more um, interesting than you, Crystal. Um, if you guys are done with Crystal, uh, I would just suggest you stop interacting with them. Because let's face it, they're just an idiot. They're just a troll. Like that's that's all they're after. They're just you know per they purposely misspell things. They put things. They've used the same material like three four times in a row now. It's it's just repetitive and derivative as, as all conservative talking points are. Of course, most of them don't even understand. Anyway, um, how does an anarchist react to abortion rights going away? Mixed answers from my experience. Uh, empower the individual and act like government governance doesn't exist. Also, you know, um, other things I can't talk about. Uh, most of the anarchist collectives are making sure that people who need access to um, medical services can get access to medical services, be those pharmacological or otherwise. Yeah. Most, most of the anarchists are essentially uh, just making sure that abortions continue. It's that simple. We'll continue to make sure that people get access to care. We will continue to empower the individual. We will continue to create dual power structures. We will continue to do what we've always done. Some will react to the state as well, because anytime the state acts, we are sort of forced into a situation where we act. Um, it's necessary. Um, anytime authoritarians or oppressors act, it is sort of the duty and job of the anarchist to act. Uh, non-binary, just, just, just ignore, just ignore. Um, let's go, Brandon. Anyway, um, bring the hospital b uh, boat to the Gulf. Exactly. Dick, dick, dick. Just ignore. Uh, anarchists aren't. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, incaps aren't anarchists. Insatiable. They're not. I have 12 hours of content on YouTube, literally debunking this very idea all the way back to the um, the Austrian economist school that all of this is born of. It's not a thing. It's just not a thing. They're right wing libertarians or uh, minarchists at, um, but at most, uh, usually what they actually are is neo feudalists. See this stuff over here. Um, that's just the truth of the matter. So how they react to doesn't actually fall um, come into my world. And how if you you know how do anarchists react to incaps aren't a part of that conversation because they're not anarchists they never they aren't they never will be no school of anarchism on a global scale historical or contemporary accepts or acknowledges them you cannot be capitalist and anarchist simultaneously it's not a possibility everybody but capitalists basically even primitivists 
but you can't be a capitalist and an anarchist. It's just not a thing. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a purposeful. It is an intentional, bad faith, inorganic cover attempted, to, uh, attempted to create distance between themselves and political positions that they were attempting to shield themselves from while they instituted policies. Murray Rothbard is directly responsible for this. He is literally the creator and originator of this term, uh, term, and he did so in bad faith per his own admission. And he even admitted that anybody who has an understanding quote etymologically or historically understands that uh and caps cannot be anarchists this is just the thing this is just the the reality of the history uh, of the the philosophy ideology those involved those created those who yes this is and caps aren't anarchists they can't be just because you are against government doesn't make you an anarchist there's there's much more to it than that um, so just because you're like bad government, that doesn't make you an anarchist. You could be an anti-statist. You could be a minarchist, right? Like there's, there's other options here, but that doesn't make you an anarchist. We, anarchist is anarchos and without arcos ruler, classic Greek, right? Anar uh, uh, anarchist is derived from anarchos. It means without ruler. If you don't think a landlord or a business owner is a ruler, then you're not paying attention fundamentally anarchists are anti-capitalist we always have been we always will be that's just the truth of the matter and like i said i got 12 hours of content on this this is not something new to to me discussing at depth uh all the way to like i said dude if you want to go to hayek and von mises level of discussion of why they can't be fair enough i can do that oh curiouser yeah that's the way to go Unsatiable. Uh, coercion and oppression. Uh, it's about pirate power dynamic analysis, and Foucault is a great place to start if you want to learn how to analyze human social group power dynamics. Um, but it's about power group dynamic uh, analysis. It's the collapsing down and elimination of hier uh, hierarchies therein uh, that do not meet the philosophical challenge of anarchism. But yes. Um... No gods, no masters. So many Fabian L's out there. Oh, fucking A. I know, right? Unsatiable. You ever experience a manager who doesn't have the power to fire? It's hilarious. See, oh, we're going to do the thing. We're going to do the topology talk, aren't we? We're doing the topology talk. Oh, we're going to end up doing this. I, I, I'm going to shorthand this. Unsatiable. The long and short of it is there's multiple methodologies of analysis here. It's it's it's, it's the topology talk. Um, okay, so centralized, decentralized, distributed. These are three different network structures. Centralized, everything goes through a single node. You can look at this as a, ser a file server. You could look at this as a dictator. Um, fucking, so... There's your centralized, right? Uh, all, all, all decisions ru run through one person. Business owner, dictator of a country, central server. Doesn't matter. Decentralized, sort of like your uh, parliamentarian systems. Um, it's also look like regional servers. It also looks like regional directors and managers. It looks like a series of commissions and managers, that sort of thing, right? You spread this out. Distributed. Distributed network topologies. This is where you get your interesting stuff. This is where you get like the I2P project online. This is where you get BitTorrent. It's you, where you start to get these sorts of things that are peer-to-peer -peer and very difficult to disrupt. Now, uh, conceptualizing a system of organization in which a single individual doesn't have the power to like ruin everything and shut down the entire network is very difficult for people who have been raised in hierarchical rather, rather than heterarchical organizational structures, which you have uh, by a long shot, unsatiable. You're probably a Western society sort, you know, probably American, if I had to guess. Um, the truth of the matter is, is that for you to conceptualize these ideas is fucking, it's, it's, it's a hell of an intellectual exercise. But imagine a coffee shop with five employees and uh, uh, five employees in the coffee shop. I mean, just, there's, five, there's five people that work this coffee shop. Can you envision a system in which none of them, not a, like none of them are the manager? Can you imagine five people ordering, scheduling, 
running the shop, baking goods, working the register, cleaning up. Can you imagine five people working this this small coffee shop and like little bakery store, right? Little, little shop, right? Can you imagine five people running it without anybody being in charge? If you can, I, I literally want their, their, that answer, unsatiable. Can you envision how that works? Functionally. Because I can show you many examples of how that works. Right? Like this is the fact of the matter is, is that this, 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 this little microcosmic example that I've constructed for you is uh, an exemplar. It's an analog for a macro system, a series of macro systems that have been, tr that are tried and true. So if you can't envision a, a, a coffee shop that could have five people run it without any single person being in solely in charge, then you're probably not prepared for this conversation yet. The, the underpinning education, the primers that need be done, haven't been done. And I'm just going to I'm just gonna pull that Band-Aid off for you. You're not probably not ready for a lot of these conversations if you can't wrap your head around that. The fact of the matter is, is that we use a variety of uh, decision-making processes. Um, okay, so you can't. Okay, you can't. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that, that's that's all I needed to know, Unsatiable. You, that, was, that was a very long, no, I can't, but it's a very long, no, I can't. Um, so you can't. All right, so here's the long and short of it. Um, you either need to get embedded with anarchists. The easiest way would be to go to like a Food Not Bombs um, and go to an anarchist cook shop. Um, there's also workspaces, there's hacker spaces that are usually run anarchistically, depending on who's running them. If you come out here like West Coast, they get super fucking um, capitalist. So, yeah, that, that, that's the long and short. You're not, you're not ready for this conversation. Uh, we're still working basics with you. Um, so here's, uh, okay, so you need to either look up my cheat sheet or go to YouTube or sit here and let me explain. Swedish opinion polls look scary right now. Oh, okay. Uh, get in bed with an anarchist. Okay. <clears throat> um, we use things like consensus decision making where any single person can have a veto. Can you imagine a system of decision making that allows any person to just say no to the process? Not 51% have to vote yes for this decision to, pro uh, to go through. We have to agree. We have to achieve consensus. Can you imagine a decision-making process that, that utilizes consensus? Insa uh, insatiable? Because anarchists use it all the time. We're not the only ones either, by the way. Lots of people use consensus decision-making. Anarchists just happen to be one of the most prominent ones. Can you imagine that? Where people aren't just, we just need to get 51 votes. No, no, no. If anybody says no to this, we don't go forward with it. Uh, public, it's because you're counting on uh, voting. Uh, you're, you're looking to vote for like 300 million people. Right, you're you're not looking at the scope and scale correctly. What uh, in an anarchistically driven system, we'd use microcosmic votes uh, vote scales. You're not voting all at once for something because nobody's voting for a single policy they'd look to, look to employ, right? Like that's not how anarchists organize systems. So at most, the consensus that you'd ever be looking to achieve is with your own um, your own network, your your own in group, voluntary associated network. You know, yeah, we do it weekly here on this channel. Says uh, this is uh, Momo. Um, you don't, you're not grasping this. You're not grasping this, Unsatiable. You're not grasping this. You're missing the point. Do you just want to come on the air and discuss this? This is going to be, this is, I've, dude, I've kicked water uphill like this for years now. Decades, probably. I'm telling you right now, you're, you're not in a position in your life where you're going to be able to grasp these topics. But I'm willing to give it a shot, but I'm going to need voice. I'm going to need to be able to have a conversation with you. I'm perfectly willing to. But the, I mean, the wording on these questions alone, um, exclamation discord, do teachers have any higher standing than their students in anarchist society? Ugh. How would schooling and public services work? Are there taxes or just donations of some kind? Oh, exclamation discord. So
Ja. There we go. Uh, why is that doing that? Malefic Karam. Yeah. Malefic Karam gets it. Mm. I couldn't tell you any adjacent ideologies, but Georgism is the one with the land ta uh, land use tax, right? Um, that's the, the, the single land use tax movement shit. Um, yeah. Or land value. I don't think it was land use. It's land value. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so... Um, honestly... I've, I can tell you right now, Kat, I've been meaning to ask Sweet about Georgism and some of its economic ramifications uh, uh, within a, like a neoliberal setup. I don't entirely know if in our current iterative uh, system or our current system's iter uh, iteration, I'm not entirely certain it could work. But, I mean, if we're talking overhaul. Oh, uh, um, just so we know. Um... Just so we know, Project Reduction, the, the fucking idiot from earlier, uh, already got uh, an account ban. Hmm. I mean, it's not. I was going to say, isn't it? It's Neolib, right? What would, you, what would, he, what would he be qualified as? What shall we name our new economic system? George. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I agree. I just like the name George. <laughs> Kaiser. Fair enough. Um, there. Uh, for uh, for dude man. I don't see uh, I'll, when I'll pop the welcome for the first time when when I see a fucking join. Anyway. <clears throat> I wonder what the record for fastest account ban after trying to troll this chat. <laughs> Could be something interesting, that's for sure. Uh, Again, I said last night a resolution after the, the timer. I, 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 I'm not responsible for keeping data. So if, if. Oh, it pops in front. Interesting. I had one in seventh take less than a minute. Not bad. Okay, so the sources for the black background need to go above that, but below that. So, wait, hang on. If I do this and then this, we're good.
you clear the welcome screen and then you go to voice chat. Installs Fallout 4 immediately, mods out the dialog wheel, the dialog bar like proper Fallout. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, the resolution. Oh yeah, yeah. If you guys want the data though, you got to track it that uh, yourself. So, like I said, if you want to keep a scoreboard, that's on somebody else. I built it. Uh, rad. We have found that in this community, at least, the welcome screen on the Discord server serves as a warning um, or at least a, a harbinger of sorts um, for the conversation that you're about to have. So for a long time, we've joked about how when someone jumps to Discord and then the time it takes them to clear the welcome screen is sort of the, the, the determining factor as to the nature of the conversation that will take place. Um, and so Viva uh, demanded uh, on a night stream last week, this week, last week, uh, a welcome screen timer after we had a conversation with an individual. Um, and so that's what that is. As the timer starts when the, the link is clicked and it stops when the welcome roll has been given. Um, so there you go, Rad. That's what we're doing. Um, it's always an interesting series of prospects. Uh, so um, let's see. Oh, uh, the, the title, by the way, uh, Clarence Thomas, um, Clarence Thomas isn't going to be teaching at George Washington, uh, university. Uh, the students got him kicked out. They're like, yeah, we don't want him teaching here. So yeah, I mean, there you go. Oh, in Switzerland, Switzerland fully legalized medical cannabis and is allowing exports. Switzerland will export their medical cannabis. <laughs> uh, get that, get that Swiss medical green going. The welcome page of Delphi. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, where's this check? I, I want this. I want this. Um, There's a woman in Virginia who is suing her the middle school, the school district. He's in middle school. She's got a 13-year-old son. This Karen in Virginia is suing the um, school district because ever since being taught CRT at middle school, her 13-year-old biracial son won't listen to her. Oh God, Beatniks and Bru uh, Brubeck. Thanks for the fall. Uh, thanks for the support. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah, yeah. She's suing the school because of CRT. Swiss government has been arrested by Dallas PD for marijuana trafficking. Rad sucks to be Thomas. I mean, can we make it, can we make it suck more to be Thomas? That, that would be great. If, if that man can never show his face again in public. I mean, we had the Anita Hill thing back in the day. Like, right. He's a garbage human being. We know that, you know, like sexually, sexually harass people just to amuse himself. It's like, he's a garbage human being. So let's just go ahead and fucking make his life miserable. Every place he ever goes in public, he should have yelled. He should be yelled at. Yep. Yep. We cleared five. Has the mom ever considered that she's a cunt? Nah, that can't be it. Mr. Pube Coke himself. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's, he, we did it, Reddit. Like I said, the welcome screen tells us all. The welcome screen tells us all. 
<sighs> oh, yeah, there's the Hyundai child labor on the red lines. <laughs> oh. Oh, yep, Stacy had it coming. Cleared it. I don't know who the Stacy had it coming is. I'm going to need verification of that in chat. 12 year olds need work too. <laughs> oh. Is the welcome screen our predictive thought crime, 1984 style? I mean, it's as close as we're going to get. Why won't anyone think of the children's job security? I know, right? First, we took him out of the mines public, right? Now we're denying our children the right to have black lung, right? Then fucking, what do we have? Then all of a sudden we've got fucking kids. 12-year-olds can't work sheeter machines. They can't work metal stamping machines. So put it at 6.30 or something like that. No black lung. It's pretty racist. It is. It's pretty racist. How dare they? Kids need to have to learn how to do hard day's work. Oh, all right. God help me. Here we go. What's more into the breach for the purposes of education and entertainment? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh god, somebody else is doing that rad hom. Somebody else is doing that rad. I forget who though. Oh, somebody was going to lower the the light the the age for some license. Oh, oh trucking. Trucking here in the US, rad. That's what we were doing. We were proposing lowering the commercial driver uh license age down to Oh God, I, 16, something like that. 18, something that's just some age that should not be driving a fucking multi-ton semi probably. Um, all right. I presume Stacy had it coming. Uh, you are unsatiable. Yeah. Okay. Can I get you to count to five please? And thank you. So I can do your audio check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Um, do, do, curious, did we lose a lot of truckers to COVID? Public, we've been shedding truck, long haul truckers for the last like three decades for a variety of reasons. COVID definitely didn't help. By a long shot, it didn't help. But yeah, we've been shedding long haul truckers for like the last 30 years. It's not good. The trucking industry is not doing well. Um, and we're not at a point where we don't need them. <laughs> we need those fuckers still. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, it is what it is beast. All right. Um, I don't really know to start that. Yeah, I know. Uh, cat. So here's sort of, I, I suppose the, the, the two problems that you need to understand. One, most people, when they look for, uh, look to anarchism, your first questions are like, well, where's an anarchist state? A lot of your starting positions, the things you understand, the way you look at stuff, the organizational structures that you're used to aren't necessarily the only way or even the natural way that human beings tend to do things. Um, and so there's a lot of like presuppositions and assumptions that get made in people on people's parts when they start asking questions about anarchism. So we, we organize differently. We do things differently. We don't I involve a whole bunch of stuff that people would normally be like, well, how does that even work? The Anarchist Republic of Cospia is a good small example. Um, stretch of land in Italy lasted for 375 years, right? No judges, no lawyers, no laws, no police, no military, Right. Like how, how does a, how does a, how does an entity last? How is a polity? That's by the way, the technical methodology we'd refer to this as how does a polity such as that last for longer than the U S in the face of the, the, the papal States, by the way, that's who was 
who they were up against was the fucking papal states. So, like, how does that even happen? How do you do that? How does society organize itself that way? How do you run things that way? How does somebody not have... There's so many questions that people have because the fact of the matter is is that you, your entire life has been spent submerged in a way of doing things that isn't the only way of doing things. And it's not even speaking to like heterarchy versus hierarchy. If I took, I presume, uh, unsatiable, you're, you're American? Yeah. Okay, so if I picked you up and dropped you in Papua New Guinea or Japan – even right like entirely different way of doing things culture shock right we have a we have a term for this culture shock you'd be like they don't even they do things that they react to things that they organize differently right like societies organize themselves differently and it's difficult for people who come from rigidly hierarchical individualist systems to conceptualize a heterarchical distributed uh, uh social system Right, like that, with that one that relies on communal and individual aspects rather than just in emphasizing hyper individualism as we do in the West. Right, like there's there's all of these hurdles that are going to be psychologically in your way for a lot of stuff. We don't believe in nation states. We don't see them as a necessary entity. Um, there's there's a whole host of stuff that people like. Well, what about this? we organize differently so it eliminates the necessity for that. When anarchists set up a compound, a commune, an area, during the Spanish Civil War, 50% of agriculture and industry, machinery, stuff like that, were being produced on anarchistically organized communes in Spain, right? 50% of the nation's output was being cre created by anarchists during the, sp during the Civil War, right? So... We can do things. We can produce things. We've addressed the scope and scale issues before. We have longevity. We have the ability to create dual power structures. We don't see it necessary to replace or supplant the nation state because we understand concepts of like du of creating dual power structures and acting as if the government governance doesn't have control over us. At the baseline, it doesn't until they use utilize their monopolization of force, which is another thing anarchists don't use, is a collective monopolization of force like that. Um, so, like, there's a whole bucket of problems to try and describe a lot of how this operates to somebody because you won't grasp it. Um, you can teach somebody something without having authority over them. I know that's crazy for most Americans, especially if you came up in our educational system and you didn't have like private schooling or something like that, right? That, that a teacher can be not an authority figure. That's rough for most Americans. How does a teacher not have authority, right? But there's a differentiation between expertise and authority. Just because you know something doesn't mean that you necessarily wield or have authority over someone. There's a difference, right? So where do you wish to start this discussion? It's just, so when you're born into a society, someone has to deliver you. So there has to be a hospital in place, doctors that are trained. How are those doctors trained? Who pays for that? How do you file taxes? Oh God, see, this is, this is, this is, yeah, right out of the gate. Okay, one, you wouldn't be filing taxes. That's, that's not a thing that would be happening in an anarchist society. I would we, be out of a job. I'm a tax preparer. That, I would, I would have nothing to do. You already have a bullshit job. Your job shouldn't exist. I, I guess. Under, under, even under a neoliberal capitalist system, your job is bullshit. You know that, right? I mean, you have to figure out what's taxable income. No, you don't. Other nations, uh, other other nation states do this entirely more streamlined. We we do, we're just broken. We because the in uh, into it and a whole host of corporate uh, uh, corporate entities have been involved and interfering with our tax preparation uh, policy for years and years and years now because they profit from it. There are yes, uh, there are European we, nation states we that own taxes. This. There's yeah. other nations that their tax system sends them a bill or a refund, and you have to check their work. So you do still have to do some work if you don't like what they give you back if you 
are sure you're due a refund. You're trying to you're bill. trying to justify your bullshit job. The fact of the matter is, is you're a paper pusher. I guess, but I mean it's an unnecessary job that can be automated with an algorithm. When they do know what you make, so technically, yeah. There. Uh, 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 yeah, a lot of people would be out of work, but the fact of the matter is, is we're anti-work. Wait, would you have to work in an anarchist society? No, we don't work. So how do things get done? Oh, there's a difference between labor and work. Doing things, we do very well. Anarchists organize and collectively action things on a global scale all the time. Food Not Bombs feeds people in like 137 countries on a daily basis, and they do it without any hierarchical organization, no author authoritative manner of organizational structure within the entirety of Food Not Bombs. It's completely hierarchically organized, anarchistically run, but they manage to operate on a global scale and feed people all across the globe on a daily basis. Um, and they do so with uh, usually fr uh, free recovered or donated food. You don't even participate in that aspect of it. We're not opposed to labor. We're not opposed to building. We're not opposed to uh, supporting society. But we do make a philosophical and ideological distinction between work and labor. And what you do is work. What we do is labor. And we're fine with it. So would you get paid in the goods or money of some kind? Gold, silver? <laughs> um, anarchistic communes, societies, collectives organizational structures, we take care of the uh, needs of our, our members. That's how that works. So it's, it's like a common understanding? You just yeah. do stuff to get stuff, I guess? Yeah. There's no... If you need food, you can get food. If you need clothes, you can get clothes of a variety of sorts. And people will work with you in a variety of ways. And the society will have multiple ways to provide those for you. It's, it's, it's far more egalitarian, far more efficient, and mathematically sound. There's even symbolic logic books written on this methodology. Like, the truth of the matter is, is that distributed topologies and heterarchical organizational styles have been studied and implemented by the DOD, the British Architectural Association, IT, uh, IT network nerds. Like, this, this stuff works. It's super resilient. It's uh, uh, resistance against tam uh, tampering. It provides uh, resources to the nodes on the network in a more efficient manner. Like, this is just one of those things that is just... The time will come, and the fact of the matter is, is that anarchists have gotten to a place where we understand that, like, we just have to embed and install our technologies in a variety of organizational structures. That's all. Like, we, would there be a standing army, or how would you make sure, like, other nations that aren't anarchists, not like come in and try to stop what you're doing? Mm. Uh, the Machnavist Black Army, a hierarchically organized, individually autonomous network of militias that were in Ukraine that fought with Lenin and fought again, Kaiser, somebody throw me white army. I think they fought with the white army. It's always difficult to keep those fucking Russian, uh, the color armies of that era straight sometimes. Um, but no, um, they went toe to toe just fine. It was a series of treaty uh, violations that when Lenin went around on their back and stole a bunch of their resources and stuff that caused them to have that. And any, any army, can have that, but no, um, anarchist militias and, uh, military or organizational units have been around for quite some time and they've proven themselves effective. You want, um, effective, uh, look at the Zapatistas using those methodologies in and around, um, uh, Mexico, uh, to fight cartels and the Mexican government, including the fucking army from time to time and the police themselves, uh, cause they're corrupt as fuck. So some goods are only made in other countries. They, they have the resources. Okay. Uh, how would you? Would they want to trade with an anarchist society? Uh, Trumbleplex is an anarchistic commune that exists on the outskirts of uh, Detroit, Michigan. Survived the Detroit collapse just fine. They have their own library. They have their own art space. They have their own internet. They have their own uh, residences. They have their own food growth program. Um, they've been operating anarchistically internally uh, uh, with a communitarian bent, uh, if you're looking at it uh, economically. And they've been interacting and interfacing with uh, neoliberal hypercapitalist America regularly for 30 years.
they do it just fine on a daily basis. Trade and uh, trade and import export with non-anarchistically aligned societies happens all the time with anarchists. It's just a matter of uh, ethical framework analysis and whether they want to do business with them or not. Would you change? Would you exchange goods for goods because you don't have cash in the society? And how would how would you trade? You, you, that was societies you, use cash. You do understand that we can. That it's okay. Apparently, don't. Um, how we operate internally and how we operate externally can be segmented operations. Have you ever dealt with the Amish? No. Mennonites? No. Any Anabaptist sect whatsoever in this country? No. Okay. Where in the part of this country are you from, may I ask? Colorado. Okay. Okay. So not many Anabaptists there, but Mormons, Mormons. Yeah. Okay. Um, Not Anabaptists, but Mormons. Okay. (sighs) Amish do not charge each other to raise a barn. You have to know that, right? Like, you know, the Amish do barn raisings, right? The whole community comes together to build a big ass fucking barn for somebody who needs it after a new family or a tornado or whatever, right? Barn raisings. It's a thing. You know, they exist, right? I don't know much about the Amish. I just, I read a report that it's a cult. Like people have testimonies about leaving the Amish. They're a Christian. They're an Abrahamic religion. Of course, they're a cult. So, they, they like live off the grid and like they, yeah. they don't use technology. Yeah, that's all I know. Wow. Okay. How, uh, may I ask age range on you? Nineteen. Okay, that explains a few things then. Okay, so the Amish are an Anabaptist sect of Christians who do not believe in a whole bunch of stuff. Right, um, but the long and short of it, what you need to understand is, oh, you know what? Here, let's let's just we'll do this on the screen so you can sort of see what I'm talking about. So we can get some visual here. Um, there we go. This should this should work. Okay, this this is an Amish barn raising. It took about 30 men 12 hours to put up this 32 by 48 foot barn in the Wisconsin town of Clinton for Leslie Cast, whose previous barn was blown down by a storm. He would repay the men with a year's rent free use of the barn. The Vernon County men make up the state's largest Amish community. Barn raising has been an Amish tradition for hundreds of years and can involve as many as 150 men. They're contacted only through word of mouth when a barn in the community needs to be raised. Okay, so the purposes of that demonstration is that an internalized group can operate separate up along separate socioeconomic lines or modalities than external groups, right? Like when mom, dad, son, right? So uh, dad buys, uh, fucking dad buys something and hands it to the son. He doesn't expect cash, or at least a functioning family, right? Fucking the kid fucking gets something for the parents, right? They don't expect cash in exchange. There may be a social exchange. There may be an expectation of time spent. There may be something other than, but they don't exchange cash, right? But if that same family unit were to deal with externalities, they understand they have to speak the same language. Anarchists are no different than this. Right? Like, if you're going to insist on using cash, then we'll get some cash for you when we deal with you. But in, in the community, we're not going to charge each other dollars and cents for things. We know better than that. We know how to operate better than that. So why would we do that? But that doesn't mean we don't know how to speak neoliberal capitalism. We grew up in it. Trumbleplex... Get more stuff if you have a more uh, appealing job. If you're a doctor compared to a mechanic, no. You'd get this. Why would anyone want to become specialized? Because they well, want. Because they actually want to do it, rather than capitalist incentive, which is the way it should be to start with. Once upon a time, medicine used to be a calling, not a good career. Once upon a time, country doctors were paid in things like sacks of potatoes and a chicken. 
So there's no profit incentive at all. Why should there be? No, of course not. I can't see myself not working if I don't get more stuff. What would be the point? If you're just going to get the same as everyone else. This is going to scare you. You're 19. You were raised in America. What if I told you no one knows the purpose of life and the only reason for living that you're ever going to find is the one that you find for yourself? That's it. Under an anarchist system, you don't have capitalist pressures. You, if you need a jacket, you can get a jacket. If you, if you want, it, without, it, 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 without the need to keep up with the Joneses, without the drive for forced obsolescence within our goods, you're going to have to figure out your own life. You're not going to be able to fill it in, fill that hole with shiny shit. I'm just also wondering if you're disabled and you can't work for whatever reason, who is just the community going to take care of you? Yes. Indefinitely? Yes. Okay. Yes. Young, elderly, the infirm, anyone who needs it for whatever reason. Yes. Just as societies have... For much of human history, yes, egalitarian principles are not that foreign to human societal organization. It's just recent Western developments that have really corralled this into a perspective of hyper-individualist ruthlessness. Pre-mercantilism, pre-mercantilistic takeover in the new world, we were very communalistic. What about criminals? Like, if there's no cops or any judges, what does the community do with them? Individuals in the community and society both have the right to self-defense. The truth of the matter is, is that we utilize a uh, justice system of our own style and design. But the fact of the matter is, is that it probably wouldn't even appear to be a justice system to you because it would be so foreign to you. We use, rather than... Um, uh, we use uh, restorative justice processes rather than uh, the the vengeance based one that uh, you guys use. What about what about just serial killers like Ted Bundy? There's people who are just screwed up in the head. Okay, you hold on to them. Do you do you huh. th do you think do you think that there's like a billion serial killers in society? No, but there's some. Like you have to do something with them. But do you understand how infinitesimally small small that population is? They still exist. Okay, I mean, yes. Can, do you just, I, like, I, give I, them the death I'm, penalty? I'm not, no. Why, why, oh. who, you believe in the death penalty? I mean, some people, school shooters, probably. Okay, let's play a little thought experiment. Who has, who has the power to uh, exercise the death penalty? The court system. Okay, what is the court system uh, an element of? The government. Okay, now. Is this government trustworthy? Uh, more or less. More or less. Have they ever committed genocide? Yeah. Have they ever committed crimes against humanity? Yes. Have they ever uh, had legalized slavery? Yes. Do they continue to have legalized slavery? In prisons, yes. Okay. How is this a trustworthy entity? If I knew a murdering, genocidal, serial-killing nut job who protects pedophiles and continues to enslave people, is he a trustworthy neighbor? It's the jury that decides, and it's the jury of your peers. No, it's not. People in your community that no, it's decide not. that. No, it's not. I'm the son of a judge. You cannot blow smoke up my ass about the justice system. A grand jury can be manipulated so easily. Do you know how many lynching juries have, been, have happened in this country's history? And continue to? No, not to your extent. I don't Yeah. Know. Yeah, no. I can, you can manipulate a jury nine ways to Sunday. Super easy to do. All you do is a, a get a certain piece of evidence excluded by a racist judge. Bam, done. That dude's serving 25 years. 
We do Popo's Bizarre Adventures on this channel uh, basically every week where it's a roundup of police malfeasances. And you know how many cases we've had to talk about where DA or a judge purposefully held back a piece of evidence that would have uh, exonerated a guilty uh, a black man who was otherwise found guilty and then served 25, 27, 28 years. We just had another one this week we had to talk about. No. So you're going to give that entity, the genocidal, raping, uh, a murdering, ch uh, child killing, war creating for profit entity. You're going to give that entity power over life and death. Where the Innocence Project has shown that eh, probably something like 45 to 45 to 55 percent of people on death row are innocent. So we're about we're we're, we're, are, we're batting about red handed, right? We're, we're batting about 50 percent correct. On, on our death row. And you trust this entity. I mean, with the death penalty, if, if you're caught in circumstantial evidence, I don't think so. But if you're caught red-handed, there's a video of you shooting up a school. I don't feel any regret putting you death. The mere existence of the death penalty means it will be misused, which means, due to the distributed nature of responsibility in a society, means you are condemning me to be a murderer because you have a quest for blood. So what do we do with someone who took a life? You hold on to them. In you, like you hold on to them. You give them access to philosophers and education and schooling and higher abilities of thought. You give them the elements of society that were denied to them because the fact of the matter is, is that the number one predictor for criminality within society is poverty and lack of access to opportunity in early life. This is it. You give them a fucking chance. Maybe they won't take that chance. Oh, no, they're already isolated. You treat them like human beings and you give them every single opportunity for the rest of their fucking lives until the very last breath. You give them the opportunity to improve themselves, to be possibly become a valuable member of society. Yes, you, you, you act like a human being, not an, anim uh, an animal out for blood. So yeah. I'm guessing if there's no cops, it would be like social workers who take them and hold them. We have a variety of methodologies of doing that, but our frontline uh, response is almost always somebody who has a greater understanding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and between Oregon and Denver and Minneapolis now, we're going to have to wait probably two years, maybe another year now, to see their numbers. But I know the STAR program in Denver – uh, how many how many thousand calls did they put up? Not a single backup call to the police. They dealt with people with knives, people with guns, people in mental illness breaks, people in drug induced psychosis. They dealt with it all, and not a single time did they ever call the police for backup. Truth of the matter is, is you don't need the cops. When seconds matter, police are minutes away. I mean, I, I do think something has to happen if you like commit a crime against like if you commit a genocide there's a video of you doing it like, something has to happen to you. you can't just live on going about your day learning about philosophy like nothing happened you will never interact with society again you will never know the freedom of what it means to walk where you want to walk and go where you want to go that is the punishment People would want revenge. Like, how would you stop? People that? are dumb, panicky animals and are prone to barbaric tendencies. But we're also prone to creating flights of fancy and landing on the moon and developing life saving health treatments and understanding things like philosophy and creating ideologies and coming to understand the greater world through scientific endeavor. Human beings are both animal and something greater than if you give into your animalistic nature then that's one thing or another and if the individual who walks in on their daughter being raped caps a fucking rapist in the head that's just the way things play out but the instant that society at large intervenes they have a responsibility towards restorative processes not vindictive processes how would we get to down to the bottom of Whoever someone's you do understand you do happens. you do understand there's other nations that have already figured this out like lock, lock stock and barrel they've got this down pat this isn't complicated this has been done this isn't even theoretical this has just been done 
Like, dude, Norway created such an efficient prison system that their recidivism rate dropped through the fucking floor. They had to start closing, uh, shuttering prisons. So what they started doing was importing prisoners from abroad, from the surrounding nations, and solving their prisoner dilemmas as well. Like, do you understand how backwards our prison system is? It's not doing what you want it to do. All you're doing is getting a little hard on from your vengeance. That's it. You're not solving the societal problems. You're not addressing them in any meaningful manner. All you're doing is putting a Band-Aid on a sucking chest wound and concerning yourself with the 0.01% outlier. You're building a supermax for genocidal maniacs and what you actually are going to be dealing with is petty shoplifting because your economic system is brutal and crushing people and they're just trying to survive. Why are you so obsess obsessed and overly concerned with genocide and serial killers when they account for such a small, infinitesimally small percentage of what any criminal justice system would be dealing with? Why are you building your system around that? Because it's going to happen. I mean, they do exist. I have a business where I self, uh, where I have customers. They buy flowers. You know what I sell? Spears. Why do I sell spears? My customers need flowers. Well, every once, uh, every one, uh, one day, every three years, a guy happens to walk in and uh, ask for spears. So I've converted my entire business to spear based for that one guy. Keep a spear in the back for when you need to sell the spear and sell the flowers to your other 99.99% customer base. You're missing the point. Sure, they will happen. Be prepared when it happens. Every day, you will be dealing with thousands of people. Almost none of them will be that instance. Why are you building your system around something that barely exists? Plan for the eventuality, but do not build your systems based upon it. That's illogical. Let's give rapists and murderers a hug. Jeez. That's exactly what I'm advocating, actually. So, I, again, we literally have pamphlets within the anarchist community called What About the Rapists? We get this question all the time. It's not complicated. We just use a different system. And it's so foreign, like most things that we do, you, you can't even recognize it. But like, there's a place on the other side of the globe that literally just does what we, we do, what we, what we talk about. And it works so efficiently that they serve other nation states around them. It's not complicated. It really isn't. The number one driver for crime isn't some innate criminal element within humanity. Like, you don't think... You don't think black people are just like automatically criminals, do you? No. Okay. Well then, like what do you think creates crime? Bad upbringings, bad circumstances. What's the bad upbringing? Uh, being an orphan, not having two parents, being poor, basically just being below everyone else. So one, the majority of human history hasn't had two parents. Just know that the, the nuclear family, as you've come to know it, is, an, is a modern artifact. It's not the default standard of marriage, nor is it the default human uh, familial structure. For the majority of human history, it hasn't been that. Just understand that. Two, yes, it's a variety of so socioeconomic factors, generally as a result, uh, resultant from systemic racism and, ge uh, and generations of abuse and trauma. So 
if we understand that the uh, that the elements of criminality are socio systemic, why are we treating these people with such vengeance? Where's the empathy in that? Where's the humanity? Where's the egalitarianism? There is none. So you advocate for an inhumane justice system? Oh, I live in it. I mean, I have to, I have to be at peace with it. I can't really change it. That's the worst thing you've said to me so far. That's the worst thing you've said. I mean, I mean, all I can do is about like that's all I can really do. No, that's the least you can do. That's literally the very least you can do. Yeah, that's that's you coasting, not doing anything, not being an active participant in your community or society. Yeah. It would be hard. From what I'm hearing, you'd have to have a very sense, shared sense of community with the people around you to make this work. Do you and it, it sounds like you the political you're, differences are crazy. It sounds like you're an, not agree. urban folk. Do you live in a city? Uh, yes. Mm, yeah. I can only spot the, the urban folk from their speech mannerisms. Um, rural communities already understand this. This is something that c- cities have destroyed. Especially suburbs. I'm betting you don't live in a city. I bet you live in a suburb. I live in downtown. You do downtown. Oh, Colorado. Oh, Denver. You're going to be like Denver or something. Yeah. Um, Denver is just a sprawling fucking suburb. (laughs) It's just, um, also they got some white nationalist problems over in Colorado. Jesus. Um, but I mean the whole area does Idaho, Utah, uh, is what it is. Um, yeah, this is this is this is something that urbanity tends to. Were you were you born and raised, right? Mm-hmm. Si- yeah, this is something city folk just don't seem to get, dude. You you're reliant upon your neighbors when you're you're in rural communities, and so. I don't know my neighbors. What? I don't know my neighbors. I guess I see them around. I don't know their names. You don't know your neighbors. No. Uh-huh. So you're gonna tell me that the most you can do to help build a community is vote. And you don't know the name of your neighbors. I mean, people move out. I don't see a reason to get to know them. You want to know why things don't improve? Why? Because you're sitting on your ass not doing anything about it. But even protesters, Mm -hmm. they don't really get much Mm -hmm. done there. Lawmakers Mm -hmm. don't listen. Dual power structures. Dual power structures. That's what anarchists build. We create dual power structures. You know what? The economy shit. We'll find a way to support ourselves. We'll find a way to feed ourselves. We'll build community gardens. We'll, uh, we'll train up street medics. We'll do what we got to do to fill in the gaps because that's what anarchists do. Right? We're really fucking good at it. The fact of the matter is, is why aren't you at a soup kitchen? Why aren't you at a food, not bombs? Why aren't you at a fucking meeting? Why aren't you at a rally? Why aren't you at an organizing uh, commission for, you know, su- uh, making sure that the water for your community is on lock for future generations? Why aren't you, you know, doing these sorts of things? Why aren't you investigating permaculture? I don't know. I, that's, that's sort of my, what I would put to you then. If, if, if... <sighs> If there's any level of displeasure or disagreement with the system as you see it, the fact of the matter is is that voting is the absolute very least you will ever be able to do. And if you count on voting being your method of interacting with society, you will be sorely, sorely, um, yeah, disappointed. I would, I would tell you, go look up Food Not Bombs. You're in Denver. Go feed some people. Go make a sandwich. Yeah, Food Not Bomb. The, uh, it'd be the people's picnic in your neck of the woods. Um, do they accept the weekend help? I, I can't work during the week. Do they ex- dude, they, they're happy just to get help. 
right? Okay. Like just just contact them. Um, in Denver Food Not Bombs, and like you know, fucking say, hey, look. I don't know shit about shit, but I talked to this fucking anarchist online and he, and I told him my vote and he told me to come make, uh, come make food with you guys. Can I help? Do you need help? Right. They'll be, they'll at least put you on a list, right? They'll, they'll, they'll at least be like, yeah, no, we could, we could use some help doing this, that, even if it's just carrying boxes, but man, man, you need to make a sandwich. Like that's, that's what we say around these parts. You need to make a sandwich. Um, get in there, do some shit and see how you feel about it. Cause that's what anarchists do is we do right. Sort of our gig. So yeah, before you try and understand big concepts and ideological structures and topological maps of organizational modalities for anarchists and how do you do this and how do you do that? Why don't you just meet us where we are? And come feed some people that need feeding with us and see what's what. It's probably a better way to interact. Is there any easy theory to read? The Government of No One by Ruth Kinna, K-I-N-N-A, The Government of No One, um, is a good place to start. It's not super big. And she'll walk you through a whole bunch of various aspects of anarchism, people, uh, modalities of operation, schools of thought, historical aspects. She'll give you a, she'll give you a pretty top down view, right? She'll give you a good overview. Um, so yeah, um, Ruth Kinna, K-I-N-N-A, the government of no one. Um, Goldman's essays are based, um, but yeah. Um, start start with somebody who's going to explain a few few things. Um, yeah, you could try. Um, you could also do. Um, yeah, get Peter Gelderloo's uh, Anarchy Works is it, depending on your style, how you like things addressed. Peter's going to argue with you. Peter Gel- Gelderloo is basically going to do what I do. And be like, well, what about the taxes? You know, uh, well, well, do, how do people get health care? How do people like, you know, those sorts of things. Gelderloo is going to walk you through that. Um, Kinna is going to be like, okay, here's anarchism. Right. Let me, let me give you the, the big picture. Gelderloo is just going to address your questions and be like, okay, look, it fucking works. Right. Let me get you over the hurdle. Anarchism works. It works. It's not theory. It's been tested. We know it works. Here's all the fucking stuff you need. So Gelderloos will get you uh, G-E-L-D-E-R-L-O-O-S, Peter Gelderloos. Um, Anarchy works. That you can just find online, fucking PDF copy galore. Uh, and then Ruth will give you like the history of anarchism and, you know, excerpts on intersectionality and al- intersectional analysis and people and that sort of thing. Um, oh, nice dig. <laughs> um, so yeah, so go with those two. Um, I'd say start with Ruth, but like I said, depends what you need. Um, so yeah, I hope I've been of some help. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start reading the government of no one. Okay. Ruth Kenna, right? Yeah. I found the video. Okay. Okay. And then yeah, Anarchy Works will be on the Anarchist Library for sure. All right. Thanks for your time. All right, man. Catch you later. Um, let me kill that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Dig. Same here. Um, let me check. Nope. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, thanks, Unsatiable. Oh, all right. What do I have open? Oh, that was the, okay, close that. That's the hot key, I and I. Clear that. And that. Um, oh, folder that too. Jesus. Um, uh, no, dig, I didn't.
keep after it, Zibby. <clears throat> yeah, I know, right? Um, oh, yeah. Thank you, Cupcake. I was, I immediately looked. I'm like, where's the fucking, I didn't. Oh, good on you, Cupcake. I'll get it trimmed. Uh, Cupcake, put the day's date. When you put the timestamp up, Cupcake, put today's date. Year included. Please and thank you. It's the, the fucking video date correlative thing, so I don't have to go searching. Um, All right. So do we want to do kitty time? I was up, Gord. Uh, if you saw my curio serial kill post, but I believe there would be significantly fewer of them in an anarchist system. Well, if Karam, I do as well, but ultimately, even if there aren't, it doesn't matter. There's so few of them to start with. It's a non-starter talking point. Who gives a shit about serial killers, right? They're a once in a generation sort of situation. Like they're, they're, they're not, they don't happen that often. So like even, yeah. And when you start factoring in the other stuff, right, it's going to probably dip it, but who knows? Um, all right, Aspen. Oh, Wooly Mammoth. I vote for turn off the stream. Well, Wooly Mammoth, just go ahead and press the power button on your PC, your uh, device there, and there you go. Stream done. Yeah. Yeah, Cupcake. That was, it's just, you know, he's worried about genocide and serial killers, and it's like, dude, they had barely happened. Why are you building a system around these things? It just, it doesn't matter. No, it wouldn't. Someone, it would not matter to me. If a serial killer killed me, I assure you, it would not matter to me. Not in the least. Nope. Oh. Cat, you kind of would be too dead to care. Why are you wearing clothes like you still live in the early 2000s? Wait, are the 2020s n n nude? Did we, did we, wait, wait, are, are we naked now? It's funny how conservatism is based around fear. Conservatives are the real terrorists. What's up, Chapo? <laughs> Show us the eight pack. Uh, a shirt, shorts and a hat? For every person serial killer kills, the state executes more innocent people via the death penalty. Not sure if that's true, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I, I 100%. Um, yeah, I know, dig, right? How dare you wear something comfortable? How dare you wear something comfortable? Shirts are so early 2000s. Togas are in now. <gasps> oh, 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 he wants fashion. For Wooly Mammoth, Wooly Mammoth wants fashion. Oh, hang on, hang on, let's do this. There we go. Oh, you feel, you you're bad, you happier? You happier? K 
cat should have left it open. <laughs> uh, Aspen, it is. Very gay. Oh, I've got I've got a few of these. Why didn't you wear this on our dates? This dick. Is that hydrophobic? Probably, frankly. All Vegas in four square feet of shirt. What, no matching hat? No, I don't. Dude, I don't have. I didn't. You know what I would have worn with this? Oh, my God. What's up? Why don't you have wireless headphones? Uh, because I either rock my AirPods or I rock studio cams. Bear Dynamic DT770s 80 ohm studio cans. For most streams, I just rock earbuds because it's easier. Why would I want to charge them? Sometimes I go long. Stop trying to fucking product shame me. My entire studio is probably worth more than your car. Legit though, it was too hot. <laughs> like, for real, for real, it was already too hot. <sighs> you did this, Wooly Mammoth. You did this. Wooly Mammoth, you did this. No, my workout, my uh, ab workout routine is kind of infamous, Wooly. It's a nice try, though. Climbers. People like you don't get us. Oh, uh, of course he is. Wooly Mammoth hasn't had a, had a fucking, hasn't seen their abs in their life. <laughs> Cat, I couldn't handle it as an MMA fighter. Yeah, no. My ab workout is fucking... My core routine is more than this fucker could ever hand. Called your chip. <coughs> Shit. Cool. He really is trying, huh? You want to insult the DSLR camera, too? <laughs> How about the board? Fucking... Uh, cheap board, too? I know your chair. It's cheap. It's probably the second most expensive chair on the market after Herman Miller. Uh, he's one of those dudes who tries to like just undermine. Um, oh, public. They're great. Yeah, I, I like my Procaster. I like my Procaster. Hassan. <laughs> yeah, beast. Yeah. That's hilarious. He's just one of those dudes who fucking tries. Puka, I know I have abs, I've just never seen them. Can I have some money? No. You need ice cream. Mm. Yeah, I know. Just a sad child. <coughs> they always are. They always are. Um.
Oh, okay. Lovely. Duly noted, Cupcake. No. Oh. Someone, are you that stupid that you think hold them meant hug them and not hold on to them, which is what I said, right? What I said was when he said, well, what about them? I said, you hold on to them. You, on the other hand, here, we've already got this individual in social custody. Just hang on to them. You interpret this as hug them because you're what? That bad faith, that short-sighted, or that dumb. I don't know which it is. I think it may be some combination thereof. Working for myself, Wooly. You want to know how? Information technology consultant. My mom put me in front of a mainframe terminal at age four. I was doing custom programming by 14. By 25, I was running an independent uh, IT consultancy here in Las Vegas, servicing mid-range clients who are sort of like the wholesalers for the, the casinos for the strip. Companies that would do something like 25 million a year, right? This was my bread and butter. I was an independent technology consultant working for myself, choosing my clients and interacting in an ethical framework that I saw fit. That's how I made, that's how I made my money. And by the way, I'm an anarchist. <laughs> anyway. Of course they did the meme. They are the meme. Yeah, we're not socialists. We're anarchists. Also, I'm a better capitalist than you could ever be. No, that's okay. You're not operating in good faith. Um, all right, so we're going to do kitty. I think we're going to do kitty. Um, God, the ambience in that game. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've gotten to a point where um, where the game is sort of starting to drag. I think it's legitimately starting to drag at this point. Um, oh, it's already been done, Gemma. Um, oh, God, no, I'm not doing cat ears or kitty stream. Uh, maybe. Okay. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. It's been years since I wore that. Wear my hat now. <laughs> Bad faith is boring. Um, all right. Let's see. What are we doing? How did I not? Hmm, there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, Zippy. Um, where's my? There it is. All right. Really? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Later, Puka. Um, so far. Okay, so I'm two hours in ish. Um, wait, can I? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. Oh. Um, okay. I <sighs> look, I appreciate this game. Okay, so you're a cat in dystopia, like far future dystopia. All the humans have disappeared. Um, dig. And there seems to be a robot society. The humans are long gone, but I'm a cat. 
And this is my little friend B12. Let's add B12. B12. Fuck it. God damn it, B12. Uh, either way, that's B12. It, yeah, dystopia meow. Dystopia meow. Yeah. I I I I think I, I think they are evolved AIs. I think these guys are evolved AIs. I think B12 might be from the network. I I think the network or something like there may be a cloud out there or something. I think it's human or maybe there's just like a single backup or maybe one surviving consciousness and B12 is the only surviving consciousness. I think the humans uploaded themselves, but I'm pretty sure that these guys are like their own thing entirely. Like they are an actual AI species that we created and they have evolved. The, uh, to 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 even mimic humans, they like they like to consume things. Um, the controls on this game are not. This is this is where this game legitimately lacks. This game needs in a like a free run mode. This game needs desperately. This game needs like Mirror's Edge, Assassin's Creed, uh, di Dying Light. Uh, a parkour free run mode for this cat desperately this is the wrong way to approach this 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 prompt shit this guaranteed plat this this isn't even a platformer it's a puzzle it's a puzzle because once you get the prompt which is finicky the the prompt is finicky i i, I don't like the prompt i've already expressed my displeasure with the prompt um but once you get it, it's just automatic. You're just going to a predetermined location somehow. And meanwhile, this game should be Assassin's Creed fucking dying light fucking parkour, parkour, mirror's edge shit. That just should be like, whoa! And you should just be jumping nimbly bimbly from everything to everything like a fucking cat in the zoomies. Right? Like... This game is underwhelming in once you start it once you're in it it once you're past the point of like Okay, like last night. I played as a cat dude. I RP the shit out of this game last night I RP the shit out of this game last night anybody who was here can fucking say like I was in it I was I was being a cat and I, once you get past that which after an hour and 45 minutes you kind of do and you're like, what is the game? The game is collecting shit and like minor puzzle location puzzle shit. Oh jeez, that's fucking nightmarish. Jesus. The humans classified it themselves, so the robots inevitably did too. Oh, that's so depressing. Wait, what was that? I saw a thing. Oh, it's a jump. <clears throat> Do you get to hunt robot mice? No, Zippy. In fact, what would be the closest thing to robot mice in this game are terrifying and will, like, try to consume you. Uh, no catnip rewards, but there are catnaps. Let me go find fucking my man. Oh, he's all the way up there. Um, there are some really amazing atmospheric catnap locations in this game that are just, like I said, they're just amazing. And the locations always have their own vibe. I've been here. But the songs are a bop. I, I just, I get why they did it, uh, Cass. They're really, 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 really far in the future. Really far in the future. Like, 2.5 billion days territory shit. Like, this is, this is really far, actually. Alright, I, I have no idea the amount of stuff I need to do to progress. Oh god, I remember that jump. I, at this point, you're just sort of... You feel aimless. Oh, there's no, uh, it's just game over, sort of restart. How 
far down can I go? Ugh, this prompt shit. Alright, so that's that's my boys here. Alright. I think I've gotten everything down here. Teddy. I got y'all. Did that. Yes, I just tripped him. What's up? Um, this is grandma. I still haven't found those fucking, um, here. Hi, grandma. Uh, I still haven't found those, uh, the, 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 the cords, the, the ethernet cables required for the poncho. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosie's freaking out on that. Oh, hang on. Are you something? Nope. All right, cool. Paint. Is it still wet? It's still wet. Jesus. Slow drying paint. Yeah, Aspen. It was a big number. I, it was like, holy shit, that's a lot of time. Yeah, I was counting digit places. <laughs> that's, that's literally what I was doing. This is my man right here, Marsk. Ah, yeah, man, I got you. I got you. I'll, f I'll find those other sheets, man. I, this is this is where. Um. Oh. Um. Show it to B twelve. <laughs> Uh, okay. I wonder who helps with that. That's fucking, that's just some other shit. Okay, so you're, you're like plant, plants. You're not, and you're guardian. You guys are fucking... You. Only a real geek can read this. Who's been super geeky? You accidentally solved the puzzle for the safe? That's hilarious. What are you? I need to go up. Uh, uh, it just, it just feels. <sighs> you know the problem? This game is so on rails already. To not be able to do free-flowing movement is just a brutal reminder of how on rails this game is. Swadito, can I show you anything? I can. Boy, real geek. All right, Swadito. I dig. Catch you later. Zippy, here's a perfect example of like one of the, the, uh, this is one of the sleep spots. There's just, there's napping locations. And if you're listening closely, you can hear the, uh, kitten purr. Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of these little ambient locations. Yes. that just are sort of like little catnap locations and stuff. Oh, I 
should be able to do some of this. Ah! Oh wait, it resets this shit. Okay, so there is theirs is a static world every time it restarts. Oh shit! All right. Fuck yeah. scratching, right? There's something in there. Can I get in there? How do I get in there? That's the question. That ain't it. Alright, up we go. Ooh, sheet music! Oh, my man's gonna love that. That's that one. Can I? Huh. That's completely inaccessible that way. more blue. Please, this is, this is where this game. Heptor. <laughs> uh, only a real geek. How do you feel about this? Okay. Alright. Yeah. Clip. Well, that was a cute noise. All the way down, the express lane. Okay, got it. Is there any route in? I mean, there's stuff up there. There's stuff all the way up there. So there's got to be a route in. Where's my route in? Is it from over there? There's spikes there, too. Can I even... Is this just a fucking dead end that I'm chasing? Um, I know. So I need to... I'd rather just hang with you, man. Oh, he's just fucking... Wait. Oh, so they do eventually change. Like, where's... Yeah. Come on, my. You. Oh, so you just literally... That's your idea of fun, is just tossing buckets across this gap. And this poor dude down here, that's hilarious. That actually is just their idea of fun. They're not trying to do anything other than amuse themselves. I I really appreciate that actually. <laughs> they're they're an evolved AI species, right? Like they're they're literally just trying to pass the time. They're like, dude, we're old as fuck. Oh, I could have put that on my head. Fuck you. Defeated you. Defeated you before you even had a chance. Trap. Um. Yeah, that's actually a really nice touch. Have I been there before? It's like maybe. I don't know. Probably. All right. Up and over. Up! Jesus Christ, you see the, the... 
this is where this game starts to lose you. After the initial appeal is gone, once you're you're just playing a game. I need something to draw. Oh, no, no, no. I remember I did this. So it reset a bunch of stuff. Like the the world state doesn't get saved necessarily. <laughs> that is a bop though. Yeah, that little hit there. Dun. Yeah, I'm not done with this bop yet. I know I've already something. Oh. oh, wow. So we, yeah, we created. Oh, they created baby. Oh. Zerks are us. <laughs> or some shit like that. That just occurred to me. Like, I, I, I got there from, like, what? <sighs> Who created the Zerks? Did they naturally evolve out of this biotechnical fucking complex we created and fucked up? Or did we create them? Or is this far flung enough future that these AIs actually created them? Or are we part of There's so many options there. Um, okay. So where's the big fucking sign? There it is. Oh my god. <sighs> that was glitchy as shit. <clears throat> oh, Viva, I'm sorry. That sucks, man. PSA, COVID still exists and sucks ass to have. Hey, Nixa. He doesn't care if I do it. Yeah, Aspen, it is. It's a long fucking time. <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake. Doc was the nerd. God damn it.
Hey. Oh yeah. Yeah, Jebba. Yeah, immediately immediately people start modding the shit out of this game. Et voila! It works. Oh shit. <clears throat> Only one quick small enough and quick enough to avoid the Zerks. Yeah, I and yeah, I instinctually leaned. Uh <clears throat> I don't know, but I named this cat Felix. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, its little paws are on the edge. I discussed what kind of government these robots seem to be living under. They seem to be living under some sort of like a definitely highly egalitarian. Oh god, it's the rooftop. The rooftop. Oh shit. Um, it seems highly like uh, it seems highly distributed. They have reliance upon various specialties. They have a singular appointed guardian who's the one who can open and close the door, but they seem to be quite fine with it and then the shopkeeper and then there are people just fucking off and doing nothing honestly they seem to be living a very communalistic egalitarian style of life uh life they don't uh, i mean they don't seem to have yeah they're fairly homeostatic with their environment as well they don't have many needs that are unbalanced it doesn't look like okay this could be a thing you little fuckers yeah they're like bioelectronic hate face huggers Oh god, look at them all. You want me to go where? Fuck you, bro. I gotta go where? Like, probably like way the fuck up there or some shit, right? God damn it. I don't wanna be near these little fuckers. Ugh. Can I get back up there? No, that's a one way jump. Oh god. Go fuck yourself. Oh, I don't like that at all. Do they attack it? Holy shit, they attack it. Mix between a guinea pig and a squid, maybe? I know, right? Wait, wait, wait. Before, uh, can you die and do you have nine lives before permadeath? No. Yeah, left. They are. They are. Song. They, they for sure are. They're creepy as shit. There you go. There's a closer view. I think that might be us. Cat. So far, the soundtrack's been one of the highlights of this movie. That uh, movie. This, this movie. This game. 
Oh shit, they can get up here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ah, get off me, get off me, get off me. Ugh, God, they touched me. I should be able to lick myself after that. Ugh. Kinda looks like Jesus. Oh, there's a memory here. Wow, that was depressing as shit. And the fucking B12 has memories of this shit. Like, I... I, I Dude, humans may not even come into play here. Like, I think we just may be extinct. Frankly. I think this may just be straight up our successors and their fucking dystopian night nightmare they ended up in. No. What am I supposed to be doing here? Should I have not gone off? Fuck it. Huh. Finish the jump. Alright, where do I need to put this to? There we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I think it may be a post-human narrative. Like, for real. I didn't miss anything back there, right? No. Can I... Up there. Is there anything to get to up there? I'm pretty sure a cat could do that. Yeah, and then there's stuff that, like, I'm pretty sure cats could get up. Yeah, I don't like this. This is a one-way jump. I don't like one-way jumps. <clears throat> do those little creeps attack the robots, too? So you do, uh, yes, yes, Crimson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, fr they're terrified of them. They, the entire city goes on lockdown, and there's one guardian who can open and close the door. And he, he, it's his job to, to, their job to challenge it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're terrified of them. Oh, I see. Oh, good. <gasps> okay. I think I know. Poor cat outliving its entire servant species. <clears throat> yeah, Big Papa. No, 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 Big Papa. This this game is literally on rails. If if Final Fantasy VII levels on rails, you're you're just on rails. It, it's more uh, a pu mild puzzle game of where the fuck am I supposed to like hop? You have no freedom of movement, really, really to speak of. All the places that you can hop, there's a button prompt for. Um, so it, it gets very, yeah, from a gamer's perspective, this game lacks mechanics. It's narratively, it's good. Atmospherically, it's good. It's got some really good bops in it. Um, the cat's cute. 
I wish I could like lick myself and like do the self petting stuff that cats do. Um, but like this game, it, it doesn't have much in content. It, it's six hours, maybe, maybe, you know? <sighs> Can I go over here too? Where do I want to go? Yeah. No, Big Papa, this game, this game should be Mirror's Edge. This game should be Assassin's Creed. This game should have a free running mode. Ugh, look at him. Flesh beings are trying to come back. All right, what the fuck are we trying to do here? Oh, they're aware of me. Shuck and jive, shuck and jive, shuck and jive. All you. All right, is there anything over there I needed to look at? I don't think so. How the fuck am I gonna do that? Oh, I gotta get them. Oh, this could be a thing. Okay, I gotta get them over there, and then something. What in the fuck do they want from me? B12, get the fuck out of here. That's it? That's your help? If you ever need help, you can always ask B12. Should play the portal games next? Nah. I'm okay. I don't need that kind of problem solving in my world. Can I get back up here? Holy shit! Holy shit, they're not even all out. What the fuck am I doing here? Does it need to be out there? I think it needs to be out there, right? Yeah. Also, I want to see if I can hit this chain. I can't hit this chain. There's nothing up here I can do. Why is this? What is this puzzle? What am I doing here? Get. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Pipe. Got it.
Oh, I need to I need to get over there to knock that stuff over. You're denying my right to be a cat. of this. This is the game. Oh, come on. Eat. Uh, yeah, no. Can we not? Why are you not running? There you go. Get back up there. Fuck off me. B12, get me the fuck out of here. Be able to hiss too. Why can't I hiss? That makes no sense. I should be able to hiss. That cat's hair should be up. Yeah, the cat's model is wrong. We're getting closer to the top of the wall. Look at this stuff. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, don't you dare fade to black. Momo is one of the characters. Um, that was the one who was interested that I had all their friends journals. And it's case sensitive. Cool, cool, thanks. All right. Got. Yeah, 
I know, I know, thanks. Someone wants soap, somebody wants some energy drinks, and we've got that safe code, and we've got sheet music. I need a geek, I need the storekeeper. Yeah, and then I... But I don't want to go to the bar yet. There's one of those signs. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Oh, God, he's running into people and shit. That's funny. All right. Translate. Super Spirit Laundry. Grandma Clothing. Elliot Programming. Barterman. Elliot probably is going to be the nerd. So Barterman is like right up top. Where's Barterman? There you go. Cable! Oh, done! S sweet! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're getting our fucking, uh, our poncho. We're... Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, tech support. Right? Cool. Okay, we're getting our cat poncho. Oh, what do you want for that? Oh, one energy drink in? Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Fuck yeah. Ancient relic. Talent, uh, testament to the talent of our ancestors. Three energy drink cans? Oh, I was expecting that to be one. Holy shit. Homie, that better be good. Who are you? Alright. That was, that was expensive. Alright. First off, you no. Know, you know what? My man, I got music for you. But catch, oh man, we don't have that yet. Geek. I'll catch you on the comeback, my man. I got music for you. I got music for you. We're good. We're good. All right. Where is she? Where is she? Grandma. Sorry, my man. Yes. Um, for sure, Red. If you're one of those people, I, I collect about a quarter of them usually. <laughs> Rip humans. Yeah. Oh, okay. AI wondering about death. Oh, there's another can. AI wondering about death. That's, um, uh, just saying. Definitely a thing. Oh, okay, anyway. Where is she? She's over here, right? Grandma! First off, hi there, Grandma. That's Grandma. She's gonna knit us a uh, poncho. Yes! I have electrical cable for you, Grandma. Poncho! Can I wear it? A oh, cold robot. Oh, fuck you. I wanted a kitty poncho. Grandma, disappointed in you. All right. I got two cans of soda. I need a third. Jesus. Alright, where? Elliot programming is that way. Grandma's this way. Where's... Just keep going this way? Ooh, 
fucking loud. Why can't I get up there? What's up, Vexing Thoughts? How you doing? Okay. Jesus. Oh, and No, I already got that one. God damn it. So... Where is... What is going on in there? So where's the programming? Where's this fucking dude? Elliot programming. It says it should be that way, right? Barterman's that way. Super Spirit Laundry's that way. Grandma's right there. Elliot programming is that way? But, like, also, what does this fucking language look like? Hang on, just out of curiosity. Just. All right, so I'm looking for, okay, so colon slash slash fucking triangle line. Colon slash slash triangle line. It's like, um, all right, eight characters, nine characters, got it. All right, is anything around these parts fucking look like that? I guess. Where was that door? No, that's not it either. Interesting language, though. So where's fucking Elliot programming? That's my question. All right, we'll check another sign. Oh, is that that scavenger dude? Yes. I can trip you. You start walking. I want to trip you. Yeah, sucker. Yeah, it feels very Korean, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I got you, man. <laughs> I may have caused that. All right. Okay. That's Zoe. That's yeah, Elliot programming. That way. Alright, so what do I have to do? I have the okay. So is my my guardian there? Yeah, it's guardian there. So run this way. Wrong way. Wrong way entirely. Wrong way entirely. Asshole Simulator 2022. Oh, hang on. Yeah. I, I, it still got Elliot programming this direction. You're Rosie. Where's this fucking alley again? A button. Push the button. No, can't push the button. Can't push the button. And there's no going further from there. Where's the um? Where's the third can? Two. How is this Elliot? Jesus, whatever. Um, where's the third can? That's Nestor. Oh, I've been here before. Nestor! Hey, you. 
Ignore that. Come to me, Nestor. An AI hypochondriac. That's a whole thing. Yeah. Um. You know what? There you go, Elliot. Okay. Anything? Duffer Bar. Got it. Okay, so just Duffer Bar. Got it. Thanks, Elliot. Yeah, I'll leave your door on. Oh, I want to see that poncho on you. Let go. Jesus Christ. Looks good on you. Looks good on you, man. Glad to help. Glad to help. I like you, Elliot. You're good people. I need out. Let me out. See? Another thing we passed down. Good man. All right. Yeah, 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 Momo, I'll get to you. Hmm. Oh, it's just through him. What does... Okay, so is this not... Yeah, Duffer Bar... Oh, hey now. There we go. One, two, eight, three. Yeah, 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 Momo. I'll get to it. All right, where's that fucking safe? I should be able to jump that. Where's the guardian thing? There we go. Is there other people back here? Where are you? Vins. Oh, okay. I don't know about you. Uh, where's that third can? Alright, more. I got you. I got your sheet music, my man. Oh, fuck it. Let's do this first. This will be quicker than that. Oh, God. What was it? What was it? Fucking somebody help a brother out here. Stoner brain plus streamer brain. What was it? I'm waiting on you assholes. Thank you. Rex with the win. Oh, it's sheet music. Oh, fuck yes. Okay. So that should... I think that's all of it? I think that's all of it. Something, something, numbers and lies. I know, right? All right. Um, two... No, I need one more, I think. I think I have one more? Ballad of the Lonely Ro Robot. Jesus. Consensus achieved. Here you go.
Nonsense, welcome to it. Oh, wordy. It's just from a fucking thing earlier. We fucking... I absolutely... I was wearing just a plain grayish fucking shirt, but dude had to be an asshole. So, we, uh... Oh, yeah, I got you, my man. More, I got you. The way you compute tonight. What you got for me, my man? Oh yeah, Morris K. Yeah. Morris. Oh yeah, I, I got you, my man. Bam! All eight of them have this badge as a token of my gratitude. Music badge. Unreadable sheet music. Huh. Not very readable, but... cultural appropriation. Thank you for all that. I'm a great musician now. Yes, more. All right, where's this third fucking can? I need this third fucking can of soda or else I'm going to go insane and that's going to that's going to be a bother. What's up, Guardian? Is there a can over here? You're fucking trolling through this shit. There's a can on one of the balconies. I thought they would have all been in the soda machine, the vending machines. Or is there a whole, ve whole ass vending machine up there? What's so Oh, for fuck's sake, you did this before, too. Come on. Shitty fucking prompt. 
Oh, I might have gotten that one. Yeah, I think I got that one. Yeah, I got that one. <sighs> so there's that one, that one. There's one on the street that I got. There's that one, and there should be a third one, I guess. Or, well, there should be four. You need four cans, right? There's three plus one. You need four cans. Yeah, that's got to be the math on it. Eee. Oh, fuck you. There we go. There we go. We just, we just, I've been in there before. I just need to push the books over. All right. Mm, that was very satisfying. That was more so. I need you to. All right, that works. Bam. Anyway. All right, so I have one can to go, and then I'll go visit Momo in the bar. And then we should be on our way. Oh. Oh. The non-persistent state of this world is a little annoying, quite frankly. Down. So, punk. Thank you. I think I came up here. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, no, I remember you, Carl. sec uh there you go i don't care okay vending machine locations oh no hang on i need to bring you guys back there we go Ugh, playing this with a fucking mouse and keyboard would be a nightmare. Um. Okay. Okay. To find the hidden, hidden vending machine. Okay, I need to find the laundromat. Hang on a sec. Where's the soap? Or where's the paint? What's up, paint dude? Okay, should be wooden beams. Oh, oh Jesus! Uh, you need to look for some stairs leading into an alleyway not too far from the laundromat. That's not it. That. What are you? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I know, it's miserable, dude. Okay. No? Players need to look for some stairs leading up into an alleyway not too far from the laundromat. There should just be some wooden beams directly above them here, which they'll be able to get onto to help some nearby boxes. The vending machine is on the balcony next to the wooden beams. 
I mean, here's the laundromat. Stairs to an alleyway, wooden beams, boxes. Two pints of Sayuba oil per day. Contact the Guardian. Okay, so there are... They do have lookouts, at least. And here we go. Wait. I've been up here. This is the hidden one? Alright, so which one of these am I fucking missing? Uh... Alright, there's Seamus' lab. Where was the Rip Humans? I think Rip Humans is up here. Yeah, I got that one. Okay, so there's another vending machine on a rooftop just below the entrance to Doc's apartment. Fall. Phil is a very organized, obsessed robot following behind you, <laughs> fixing everything. Um, you know what? I kind of like that, uh, that meta, Crimson. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Alright, which one was Doc's apartment? Need, this game needs a free run so badly. Okay, that's not it. <sighs> Starry dog. Um. Alright, which one's Docs? Momo Docs. Oh, I think it's raining. I legitimately think it's raining. Can I take off the plastic shirt now? Yeah, it might be raining a bit. <sighs> oh, time to duck. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Doc's flat is the books. Okay. So, hold on. There we go. I feel like if the cat was determined enough, they could scale or break into anything. I had a cat who would get outside without anyone letting him out. Never figured out how he did it. All right. So Doc is over there, I'm pretty sure. I know, right? Pretty sure. This is going to be Doc. Okay. So. Just below? There's the fairy lights. There's the blue outsider sign. Mm. 
Where on earth is this vending machine? Oh shit, that was sketchy. There it is. I think. No. How? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure you can scratch the couch. Hold on, I'll get you to it. Hey! We got thunder. There you go. Fuck your couch, fuck your couch, fuck your couch, fuck your couch. Yeah. Fuck your couch. There you go. Alright. So... Like, I'm pretty sure this, yeah, is that one. So where's the fucking hidden one? The hidden one and that one seem to be the same place. Where are the wooden beams again? Fuck your pots. <laughs> For each according to their ability, scratch his couch. Yeah. What the fucking... Where is this stupid fucking vending machine? I got that one. I got the one by the Guardian. I got the one fucking on the... By the, the, the signage. And then there's supposedly some fucking hidden one? Give me a sec. This is getting annoying. Who else is fucking... Who's got a walkthrough on this one? Yeah, that's number four. Okay. This is the hardest one to find. Okay. Working on it. I will get where I need to go. It's actually properly raining here. That's good. We need it. It's not going to be enough. It can never be enough. Dude, it could rain for fucking five di five weeks straight and it wouldn't be enough rain. Alright. But it's properly raining right now. Um, most of it wordy. <sighs> Air conditioner opposite of where she is and make your way to the roof air conditioner opposite where she is make your way to the roof plank with a board. What the fuck? I have never done what this this one is. What is this instructions? Okay, where are you trying to take me back to, Cass? The robot was leaning on the coke machine. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not yeah, no, no, yeah, that's not that one. Yeah, Momo, I, I, I know, I know, Cass, I know which one you're talking about. No. Um, an enclosed area with a wooden plank resting over it. 
I mean... I don't know where the fuck they're talking about for this. Straight up. Oh, God, that rain is necessary. Uh, I'm above grandma's. That's grandma right down there. See the orange red sign? That's grandma's. Grandma. All right. Heading down with my... Ugh. Really? Which end? Here? Or the other way? There's two ways from her. Okay. Jump on what box? They won't let me up on anything in here. I could probably do that on the fly beast. I mean, stack of boxes in the corner. A humidity you're going to feel for like an hour. That's a normal day. Other boxes. I see it, but it doesn't want to flip. No, that that guy's exactly where I needed. Well, what other boxes? Thank you, but I mean that was. I mean the guide from the wooden post earlier got me close. What? What boxes? Oh, these boxes probably, right? can't even see that prompt. Wait, what? Uh, um. <sighs> no, there's, there's boxes in the corner that are completely broken that will break your game. Nineteen minutes, four seconds since last checkpoint. I like my path better. Yeah, I like my path better. I gotta tell you. My path didn't break the game.
20 minutes. Oh, lovely. I hate this. I, I, I'm... I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. This game... This took five years to make. Why? Why did this game take five years to make? There's not enough content to justify its price. Its controls are glitchy. It's on rails to the nth degree. It's got a few game-breaking bugs, in fact. It's got a good gimmick. It's cute. The sound, the ambient soundtrack is good. There's not enough here to justify this this game's price. There isn't. Yeah. I still, Burger Man. Still. I know they mocap the cat and shit like that, but like. I don't know. If this, you know what? If they use this to like do something better, like the funding from this, fine. Fine. Or if this it gets them the money to like do a thing proper next, all right, fine. There you go, beast. <sighs> yeah. All right then, Aspen. That's fine.
Sorry, just wanted to set some settings for that second channel. All right, what you got for me, Momo? Almost got it. Nice. They found a way out. Sewers, berserks everywhere. Great. Oh, shit. We finally got his attention. Ah, fuck you, naysayer. Oh, shit. His dad is Doc. I mean, they feed on biomass, crimson, so yeah. They, they feed on everything. They don't even just feed on biomass. They feed on literally everything, apparently. Metal. They can feed on anything. <laughs> Want to go raid this, raid this dude's apartment? I mean, I know you were friends with his dad, but bro. What the fuck? Can I trip you? Oh, fuck you. Thou shit, globalist bag conspiracy got me again. Gah. Gah. Secret cabal. They will they rue the day they fought with Felix. There we go. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so I'm going to break in, huh? Move it. Move it. Yes. I mean, find the secret lab. I'm going back to the bar. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll find. Aww. Yes, yeah, it's your papa's. Time will tell. All right. <laughs> She's just gonna knock down everything. Hey. Do you know the code? Oh god, of course not. You're useless. Time will tell. Where's the clock? Oh god, there's multiple clocks. Uh, oh Jesus, they use a base 16? They use a base 16. I mean, that kind of makes sense. They're running hexadecimal. Yeah, as I figure as much. But there's, there's more interesting things here than just the fucking... They're, dude, they're clocks. This is super... This is super interesting to me. 
Do they? Do they? It's it's only a base sixteen. I don't see any hex. So they're like Babylonians. Interesting. <laughs> why? Why the X rather than the A? Get my way. Robot news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. So they evolve. There was a time when they didn't eat metal. What the fuck are you doing, Seamus? Jesus. God, is he like dead Zerk in here? It does. So they can deactivate. They're not immortal. There's another box I gotta knock over. Oh, cobwebs don't get affected by me. Interesting. Alright. Defluxor blueprint. Light based handgun. Visual appearance size decibel emitted is high priority. Test in real condition. Objective 20 Zerk destroyed per second. That's not bad. Wait, is there some shit behind here? No. Okay. There's a bunch of them. Oh god, they're creepy. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria. They're the old bacteria! They're like a... Mil they're like bacteria two and a half, a two and a half like a billion days later, seven million years or some shit. They're bacteria after seven million years of being exposed to us and fucking our technology. Total vision in the dark, react to intense light. Okay, you're you're still like we're looking for something. What are we looking for? I mean, I knocked this over. Was there something in it? I didn't see any. I got this. Is there anything beyond, above and beyond? I got this. Yeah, Seamus, it's... Oh, hey, I see the box. I see the box. I see the box. There we go. You. Hey. You. Hey. You. Ah, fuck me. I gotta get on the ground to talk to you. Like a peasant. Oh, he's gonna be dead. Some shit. Also, you can hear it dying down out there now. For us, that's a really long rain. For us, that's a really long rain.
Wordy. Uh, when I get out of this section, I'm probably going to fucking start transitioning over. Uh, but we'll see. All right, <clears throat> see if we can't make some progress here. Now we've done fucking wandering around this goddamn city. Come on, let's go, bro. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Um, programming guys are really Elliot. Elliot. Where's that fucking... Where is that place? I've lost it. Grandma, it's right here, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's not. Yeah, doing great. Oh, I'm already inside. Uh, the, the glitch where we get sucked through stuff, still intact. Just FYI, still intact. Thank you, Elliot. No me out. Oh, can't teleport through it this way, apparently. Thank you, Nestor. All right. Twenty seven seconds. Got it. Is this this dude? Or is this somebody else? Who are you? Uh yeah, thanks. Where did Broham go? Or did he just stay at his place? Probably just stayed at his place, didn't he? Back alley or whatever the fuck. Oh shit, I can get over that. Holy fuck. I didn't think I could get over that. And I'm not wanting to go up, but it just, it just, it just is. It just is. It decided that it was in a loop or something. Oh, honestly, the controls, the controls of this game are not as good as they should be. It's not tight enough. What's up, Seamus? Yeah, of course I did. I know a guy. Is that working? <laughs> we got a ping. <laughs> Does this thing work after robots die? Or whatever the fuck happens to robots? We just follow this douchebag? Oh god. It's 
Zero out of ten. Can't trip him. Literally unplayable. Yep. No, I really, I actually do think like there's, there's, this should be a thing. There is for one of them, but not this guy. This should never be a thing. Every single character in this game should have a tripping animation if, they, if they're mobile so this cat can trip them. Also, I should be able to hiss. Um, not just meow. The cat should have more than one emotion. Shit about it. Fucking the only plot armor that fucking should exist in this game, Papa John, should be for the cat and B12. Cat and cat companion. Adventure game. I don't know. Indie game? Mystery? Yeah, yeah. Adventure game, though, they categorize this as. Oh, shit. Here we go. Yeah, burger. The cat should make the sound when looking at prey. Last checkpoint 30 hours ago. We've transitioned into a new area, did a fucking cutscene, and it hasn't checkpointed. I've cert I've seen somebody mention this, that this game doesn't do checkpoints correctly, like at all. At all. Their checkpointing system is, is just stupid. Like, somebody lost, like, a bunch of time, too. Like, yeah, somebody lost a bunch of time. I saw one woman sp uh, saying, she's, she was like, dude, it's only like 35, 45 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Dude, that, that, that's an automatic checkpoint. A fucking level transition like that? Why is that not? It's finally. There we go. Dude, that should have happened on change. Not, not distance from door. That shouldn't be a fucking, oh God. This is, this is, yeah. They're rookies. They need some fucking... They need some, like... It's a little rough around the edges. It's a little rough around the edges. Um, give them time. We'll look at their second piece. We'll look at their second piece. Um, bam! Okay. I demand a button for falling asleep on someone's leg and falling off. Ugh. Okay. I just want to see it. I just want to poke at it. Again, should happen as soon as I walked in here. The fact red, that's even more problem problematic. If you've never had a checkpoint under two minutes, does fate just love me? No, that means their checkpointing system is um unreliable that's what that means is that different people are getting different checkpoint results which is what that should not be that's not the no, whole no like that's people shouldn't be seeing that kind of level of uh, variation in t checkpoint times yeah we shouldn't be seeing 19 minutes i mean i've already seen a 19 minutes we shouldn't be seeing 19, minute, 19 minutes and fucking 30 minutes and then t uh, never under two. That's, yeah, that's, that needs fixing. Whatever that is. Yeah, it is a big wall, isn't it? <clears throat> They're not even midtown. Slums in midtown. They're not even the top of the fucking heap. Yo, they just kept throwing their trash down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Oh. Oh. There, I believe, with that game. <laughs> uh, I, you can tell they're a first-time indie dev. 
uh, you know, yeah, there's there's some mechanic issues. There's the fact that the game doesn't feel oh, you don't feel connected. The 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 cat doesn't feel grounded when I, I mean connected. I don't mean to this narrative world. I mean to the world. The 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 controls aren't as tight as they should be, and it needs it desperately needs a free run mode. It, 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 this this sort of game so needs it because if if you're gonna do the platforming, which they're sort of doing, it's more of a puzzle game than a platformer. Because there's no, I press A. All I'm sitting, all I'm doing is sitting here doing this. That's it. I'm just fucking. I'm holding the trigger, running around, and just hammering A. Basically, like that's that's the entirety of the game mechanic. Basically, so like. I, I there needs to be a couple of different areas that need flushing out. Um, the bugs, the game breaking bugs, I'm sure I hope they'll pin down. Um, that's just stuff that you know that's that's eventual. But I mean, they exist. No, they exist. You could fucking fuck you basically back to back. We've had to be able to morph through supposedly solid objects. And luckily, the second time, that solid object is designed to be opened by one of the characters. But if the solid object isn't designed to be open and you end up on the other side of it, well, you may be out of bounds and you may be 19 minutes past your last checkpoint for some reason. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, there's, there's a bunch of bugs in that game. It needs fixing. Um, but I, I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is that there's like six hours of content there maybe. Um, and you know, if you really fuck around and fucking, you know, flounder a bit, <coughs> um, you can end up with, you know, maybe seven hours probably, but ultimately it's a very short game for a very simple mechanic. This is, this is very, this is very much a fucking gimmick. It's very much a fucking gimmick. Um. Yeah, I, I'll I'll be honest. I don't think the cat's rendered well enough. I'm running it on the highest settings you can on a decent rig, not the highest of end systems, but I can run this. This game's running on all of its high end settings. I think the cat still like you get up in its face a bit. It's not the greatest looking either. Like there's some angles that are better than others, shall we say. Yeah, high point is at the beginning with the cat colony, 100%. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The cat colony is probably the high point of the game. It really is. The, the high point of the game is a minute, and it's gone. You're like, oh, there went the actual fun. Yeah, the actual good good part of the game is in the beginning, and it's gone. It's just gone. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't... It's cute, it's adorable, it's, you have fun with it, you play as a cat initially, but eventually it is a video game. Eventually you have to give in to the idea that there are, like, I, I have to physically interact with a, a device that is mapped to actions in this world, and I have to interact with this, this experience, and at a certain point it sort of becomes... Uh, very monotonous, very, um, v very monotonous, very on rails, very singular experience. Um, which, okay. There's, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. <sighs> the problem I see is, is this sort of anachronism between allowing someone to play as a cat, which is by sort of definition doing their own thing. Um, like the sort of core essence of the cat is the fuck you. I do whatever I fucking want, right? You're here for me. That's how this arrangement works, right? It, it, it to, to put that experience on rails, 
like I said, I, I uh, multiple times. There's not enough action as the cat. Like there, there should be. I should be able to. I should be able to clean myself. I should be able to lick myself. Like after interacting with those zer- zer- the zerk or whatever, and they touched me, I should be able to like take a minute and lick myself or something like that, right? I should be able to hiss. I should be able to bat at something, right? Like there should be basic cat actions outside of just that, right? Like I'm not looking for combat. I'm just, I'm just looking for like a way to further because that's the only thing they have. The only thing they have is the RP gimmick element of cat in dystopia. Right? So if I'm going to be a cat in dystopia, my job is to be a cat and you're already limiting me in being a cat. Right? Like, okay, you built this beautiful fucking world, but what you should have done is given me more cat abilities. One less fucking neon sign and one more animation of, you know, this shit or something, right? Like, I should have control over that. I, I, I should, I, you know, yes, there should be the, the, the shit they do. You know, when standing up looking at, like, one of the Zerk, there should be that. There should be, there should be more cat. They put a lot into this dystopian world that, one, you can't have you're on rails for you you can't really properly explore because there's no platforming proper it's not even a real platformer it's just you just fucking hop here when you press it hop here when you press it hop here but when you press it. it's like the change cover system and like a late stage ubisoft fucking ac knockoff right it's like press a to change cover right press a to fucking do the thing there's it's very limited mechanics so if everything's to be that limited, you need to give me more with the cat. But instead they focused on building this, you know, playful distractions that do shit. Yeah, it just, they forgot, like, the whole point was to be a cat. All they left you was be cat. But I can't be cat. Like, it, it, it's, 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 it's frustrating. It's frustrating, and yeah, I understand why people have very mixed feelings about this game. Yeah, it's the the initial wave of fucking uh, meme purchases and reviews have given this game a uh, like the the highest rated game on Steam this year, uh, outside of I uh, don't know. No, it, yeah, it, it, it deceited a uh, boy, uh, deceited fucking God of War. Um. But, like, yeah, after you, like, play it a while, you know, you put a few hours in at least, then you start to hit the wall of, like, this is a very limited experience, not just in the ways that, like, oh, well, you can't ask that from an indie dev, you know, studio with their first outing. Like, okay, I get that. But in that five years, you couldn't give me a hiss, right? Like, you couldn't give me a little cat bat animation, Right, like you, you hamstrung my character play. You didn't even have to introduce a new mechanic for it, even though it's a super easy mechanic to introduce. Right, like you could get ah, you get different reactions. So people fucking do the little heart screen on their uh, their uh, uh, the heart on their screen, and fucking you know uh, uh, love when you meow and stuff at them. Others could like, shock and you know that sort of thing. Like it was, it was right there on the table, and they didn't do it, which makes me question. Yeah, the hiss will come as nice sixteen ninety nine DLC. Um, you don't seem like those types, but yeah, that's yeah. I had to stop there. Um, <clears throat> oh Jesus! <laughs> I suppose. I don't know. Uh, either way, um, fucking put it in uh, show clips, Momo. Also, like, yeah, remind in show clips. Please and thank you, I guess. Um, <clears throat> put the today's date for the show, please, too, while you're in there, Momo, when you mention this. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, I'm going to switch over to Zomboid. Um, there are no pronouns in Stray. Um, actually, the, actually, you know what? 
hmm, I'm not, you know, but they, you don't pay much attention to pronouns. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just, uh, we're going to get Zomboid going. Um... Give me your potato. <laughs> uh, but no, I... Th oh, shit. All right. No, that should... Homie. I, why are you logged out? God damn it. Uh, Twitch, I hate you. Just... There. Stop. All right. There we go. Hate everything about you. Um, yes. Theme appropriate. Um, end game is your favorite. Yeah, we're gonna dump over to the Discord server. Uh, we'll be in VC when we're playing. Um, but we're gonna come off stream. We're gonna raid into Can't Stop the Kittens. Um, fucking, what's the best casino? To play or to like entertain, uh, Kavas to play same odds anywhere across the strip. Um, just to experience, <sighs> the Venetian is nice, it's fun. It, the Venetian is fun. Night Rev. The Venetian is fun. It's got an indoor river. That's fun. Um, the Luxor is kind of kind of fun as well. Th that giant pyramid's open inside. You know, there. Like, it's just a giant fucking pyramid. There's rooms all along it and shit. You stay on that, but it's an open cavity in the inside. It's crazy as shit in there. Um, yeah, there's a, I, the Venetian's interesting. Either way. Anyway. It's coming down to the wire. I'll see the players and stuff in, uh, in VC. Bye.